Alrighty guys, we're here with Ben, Chris, Riff, and Ricky, and myself, and I just want to say this is episode 17. This is wow, crazy. 17. 17. Oh, that's yeah. weird. What the right? heck? Yeah, it feels like the time passes. Ben's probably inside like, yeah, guys, thanks. 17 episodes to get me on. <laughs> yeah. So we have, we're here with like the but homie cast here, right guys. now. It's like all of us together, and yeah. we're going to go into our first one. So it's going to be more of a most played games of all time for us. Ooh. I like this. So I, I when I was, you know, when me and Curtis were talking about doing this, I was like, let's do most played games games of all time but let's try not to be as generic and like name all the games we've talked about a thousand times chris i don't want to hear zelda one on the nes or link to the past <laughs> all right, we know let's all, <laughs> let's all let's all make it clear right now we all know the ones that you know we've been we've been holding on to forever that are kind of like the ones we've talked about a million times so i'm curious ricky give me one or two of your most uh, just give me one for now one for now most played games of all time all right so resident evil 4 for sure for me <sighs> one of the most played games stole it for me Rick. dude i think i replay Played this game. I beat it five times just because so I can get all the infinite guns. I love, love this game. And the fact that I like, you know what they're saying in Spanish, creeps you out, creeps me out even more. I love it. Which console? Uh, GameCube. Has to be GameCube. Wait a minute. They're speaking in Spanish in that. They're I thought talking that was like Spanish. a made up language. That no, that was saying. Spanish. <laughs> 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 Dude. It, so what makes it, what kind of sets that game apart for you? I, I just love the gameplay. Like I love the Res Resident Evils, but that one, dude. I think it is that I that I can like I can understand it. But the the fact like I love the guns there. I love the way I love that there's actually bullets that I can actually get. I hate I I, I didn't hate it, but I didn't enjoy Resident Evil as much be, uh, the first one because you get like one bullet for every like a hundred zombies. I feel like that's a mildly popular. Like uh, most people look at Resident Evil Four as like one of their favorite Resident Evil games. Would yeah. you put it? as your favorite Resident Evil as well, or just one of the ones you played the most? Favorite. favorite, Straight up. Straight up favorite Resident Evil. So you can Evil. go back today and keep playing. I'll, I'll keep playing it. I haven't even played the remastered. That's the, that's the worst part. All the remastered ones, I haven't played them. You know what? Let the, let the nostalgia live in your heart, bro. I, yeah. it's, 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 it's did, so good. All right, so did, did you have like another one in mind like for a game? I, well, for po uh, sorry. So my, my second one that I probably played the heck out of it, I would say Modern Warfare 2 because me and this dude used to play oh. way too much on it. <sighs> but... I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with Pokemon Red, Yellow, and Blue. Really? I played those so much that it like, like that's the reason, whole reason I got Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu because it's the same story except like up updated. I'm like, oh, this is so great. I feel like you're the only guy in our group. Where, like Pokemon's obviously huge in the video game world, but I feel like in our group, Pokemon isn't really talked about. Like. Retro Rick here and there, Phoenix Resale, like pretending that he cares about it. <laughs> but that's it, really. Nah, me and Ricky, we're on board together. Oh, dude, yeah, I, me and him are Pokemon. It's people. so good. Yeah, we were on Whatnot the other night, and you guys were, I think, in Florida a couple weeks ago or whatever it was. And I was, I was like, Ricky, this guy just found a 1990s like vintage Pokemon oh, locker. It was so good. It was insane. The guy didn't know what he had. And we, I was like, dude, there's vintage plush, there's vintage bags. There's Those are the shirts. greatest words you can hear when you're on whatnot. <laughs> I don't really know what these are. It's like, oh, God, please run them <laughs> fast no. before people catch on. <laughs> Me and Curtis are like, run this, run this. Run. I don't know if I'm oh, going to run this. Yeah. That? yeah. Ricky came up with, he, the other day I walk in his room and he has this big old box that I've never seen full of, like, in one box with where you could see through, where you can see all the characters. And it's a ton of Pokemon plush, like, in one, like, see-through looking box. And I was like, it was Dude, super cool. vintage, super weird. It's Me and him were bidding against each other. <laughs> Once I saw his name pop up, I was like, I'm going to let him have it. That's like, that's like <laughs> us Thanks, on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can tell Chris now because he can't buy it. Ricky's <laughs> about to buy a, a vintage Star Fox hat that I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> you were sending me down the front right <laughs> so, so, so the audience knows, we, right before the, uh, the this podcast started, we were like, Ricky was looking at something. He's like, should I bid for this? I'm like, yeah. And Chris was like, whoa. What is it, guys? Just curious. I'm not going to bid. And I'm like, do not tell Chris he's you gonna said buy it. Nintendo shirt. <laughs> then you were like, Nintendo <laughs> pants. Well, I'm, to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm but, over here searching. But the funny thing is, all three of us were bidding on the shirt he's wearing right now. Horrible. I <laughs> this shirt is online right now? We, we all bid on that shirt. Oh, you're talking that about one, when yeah. it was online. So we always bid on yeah. each other. So it's yeah, pretty yeah. funny. Ben, yes. let, let's break your podcast mold. Your first okay. time right. fully on here. Yeah. Woo. Let's hear it. Let, let, I want it to be something that I, that's just going to blow my mind that you've that you put most of your time into in your life. Okay, so obviously you know I'm a big Tetris fan, so I have to say NES Tetris. That's your most. I mean, I mean come on. It's it's NES Tetris, guys. Now, is it NES Tetris solo or NES Tetris with people? Well, the first one, you couldn't do two players. 
Oh, that'd Correct. be smart if I knew that. Yeah, <laughs> I think on the on the Tengen one, you could. The Tengen one, you can't. Shows yeah, you guys yeah. so how I'm much I play about, Tetris. I'm talking about the actual Nintendo. Oh, see, I said that because I only owned the uh, Tengen one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said that. <laughs> Sorry, that's totally why. Uh, uh, well, all right, I, I want to show you guys one of my weird ones. I even pulled up gameplay because I feel like nobody probably played this game or cared about this game. Super Off-Road Baja. On You're going to have to oh, show that. Oh, a great that, game. Oh, don't worry about it, bro. He's got this. beto has got this, yeah, yeah. bro. Super Off-Road Baja on the Super Nintendo. Now, what I really, the big memory for me with this game and the big nostalgia blast for me is that there was one night when my brothers and I, you rent video games back in the day. We rented Super Offer Baja. It was fun. To this day, it's our longest amount of game played, not ever, but in one sitting. Uh. We went 16 hours. So, but it was to the point where like we got to like four hours and we're like, let's time it. Dude, we're at eight hours. Keep playing, keep playing. <laughs> we're at 10 hours, keep playing. At 16 hours, we just tossed out. Actually, I don't think we tossed out. I think our mom tossed us out. I was like, go outside, you losers at that point. <laughs> but I love this game. Um, it's nothing that's going to like break your excitement level in the world. That was on PS1? No, Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. It looks graphics. pretty cool. It does, almost looks like PS1. So you're, yeah. that's either a compliment to the Super Nintendo or you're ripping on the PS1, that compliment. <laughs> it's good graphics. So I, it, to me, it looked pretty good. Pretty so for good. Super Nintendo, that's pretty good. All right. What about you, Chris? Well, I was going to say Resident Evil, but Ricky stole that. You can do a different one. Uh, that's just because I went four. Well, well, I liked all the Resident Evil remakes. Like I, when uh, we're As far as like replaying them, I had played those games many times, but then with the remakes, it was like, oh, here we go again. I'm going to replay them all. But um, another one that I've played tons that a uh, little bit more obscure, yeah. but not obscure, but I love the Twisted Metal series. Like, that Twisted was Metal fun. Two. Those are <laughs> Dude. great. Yeah, love it. In fact, I played Twisted Metal 2 recently because we have a PS1 kiosk, and I put in Twisted Metal 2, and I hadn't played it in a long time, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. I forgot just how good that is. But when we were younger, my brother and I, we just used to battle at that game left and right. Who was your character? I liked... Um, oh, Sweet Tooth? No, was it, the guy, was it the guy with the Axel? Axel no, the, the, oh, I can't... The, the What's the Undertaker like? guy? Shadow. Shadow was his oh, name. I never Shadow. knew Shadow. Yeah, I love that because you people would clump together and you could shoot out a like thing and it would and you could explode it and it would just blow everybody up. Did you so. did you watch the recent movie TV show? I tried to. Oh, but oh. I could not get into it. Did you guys watch it? Uh, no. I didn't. I watched the first I episode. Tried, it, yeah. I thought it was actually pretty cool. Did you it watch the okay. second episode? No. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched the first one too. It was a little bit too corny for me. I was but like, I, I, don't I was going to go back. I just had Okay, yet. so it wasn't bad. Yeah, well, I didn't it, think I, it was bad. It was okay. It what was you all expect right. from a modern. Yeah. 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 Man, I feel like we're, we're all going to choose car games because I was going to go on the GameCube and choose Roadkill. I don't know if you guys ever played that one. I've never even played Roadkill. It was like a rip off Twisted Metal, wasn't it? Rip off. <laughs> I would Yo, say that was go. more of an uptink in graphics Dang. and gameplay. I honestly <laughs> loved it. Yeah, you could basically customize that like, you're driving around. You're just basically a demolition car and just getting guns and stuff. And you oh. just destroy your friends around town. So Rip like off. a bootleg. <laughs> yeah. A West.com version. Yeah, because I mean, I could have went with like all the other first person shooters like Gears of War, Call of Duty, Apex, like all those things. Like, because I literally am on those games. Every year, every, like back and back and forth for hours, nonstop, and that's like all the games that my game, my, my friends play. You know what I mean? So it's like you're gonna stay on the the game that you're gonna have the most hours on. So if I'm playing with the homies, that's how it goes, man. Homies for sure for us has to be. Our oh, game. dude, I think Smash, Counter Strike, Counter Strike, Smash, and which Call of Duty though? Do you think holds the two? For, you think two? Modern Warfare two. two. No. What about zombies? Oh my gosh! Zo See, th that's a different edge because that was three of us together in this, like in the same room. Which one do you think, if we had to go back, and we, which one do you think gave us the most fun? I know it sounds dumb, but like when you're friends, like which one do you think of those probably made us laugh the amount, most amount of times? Call of Duty, Smash, or Counter Strike? Ooh, Ooh. I I'm gonna I'm gonna throw an audible on there. I'm gonna say Half Life when we used oh, to do yeah. Half Life because it was with all the all the dudes. <sighs> We used to play at a place called Cyberdeck. Yeah. And that's where we were. That's where we spent most of our time. Till sit like from an six, in person, uh, six to six. Yeah. yeah. And land. it'd be crazy because there'd be, you know, it's all land. And there'd be certain nights where, you know, you headshot somebody and get them. And they'd stand up and throw their. <laughs> Who's computer 15? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it was and it's so just like, good. <laughs> our buddy Garrett, he was a wild boy. He would feed into it. And he would like purposely yell like inappropriate things across the room. I'm like, we're going to get beat up here. But it was great. Okay. I'm going to throw one that I think I almost would get. I'm. 
I'm gonna bet that nobody here knows what it is. I, I was trying to think super obscure. I'm like, what? What is like something super weird? And then I was talking to my mom, and I was like, Mom, what's something I played all the time as a kid? And I pulled gameplay because I guarantee you nobody ever did it. Did anybody ever play the Putt Putt or Fatty Bear games on PC? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> no. no, I played it with Gabe uh -uh. once. You did? Yeah. Okay, this is so. This is the kind of game. It's a point and click like mini games. Yeah. When you were a kid, this is the kind of stuff. Like, actually, this is quite literally a fun unlocked story memory. I forgot I had. When we were kids, my parents would always do their taxes at a, a place I think called George and Nina's or something, and they'd always have old like Macs, old Apples, old PCs, like super outdated with games on it. This was one of those games that was always on there. Anytime I talk to my mom about like old games, she's like, do you play Putt-Putt and Fatty Bear still? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to break it to you, mom. I still don't, <laughs> I don't still play it, but it's like those weird like Sam and Max. There's a bunch of other like old school kitty, what, you have That's, one? No, Sam and Max got traded into the store the other day. There you go. Yeah, I, I didn't know what it was because I, I think that, I thought that Sam and Max was was that a cartoon? Yes. Yeah. It was in a spinoff of like the Max, Sam and Max. I don't know. I thought it was the character. I meant more of that. like the actual characters being cartoon shaped. There's like a whole bunch of games during this era that were like early computer games where it was all kind of the same cheap Arthur games, Berenstein Bears games, Putt Putt, Fatty Bear, Sam and Max. There was some other ones. They were all just like Carmel San Diego. Like, Edutainment. Yeah, my, San mine Diego. was uh, Pajama Sam. I don't know if anybody. Pajama Sam. There Dude, you that go. was one of <laughs> the best one. ones as a kid for me, man. You just click and then you go to the next thing. That, see, that's 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 what I was looking for actually. Pajama Sam. Good, uh, Curtis. Dude, nice. hey, that unlocked a memory for me because, dude, I loved Pajama Sam. Man, you just go around, you go like, all right, so what is this? And then yeah. you click on it and it pops up and you're reading that as a kid. So there I was something cute about those old school like point and click games where like like you said you'd everything you could click on and it'd always be as a kid super exciting because you just click on the the cardboard paper on the wall and it would fall off and be like whoops you made a mistake and you're just like hey, as a kid super fun yes. looking at it now the graphics were pretty good on it too i like the little like the bear, guy. The bear is pretty good you know it's not bad i mean look no. you got a little that's I that's like putt putt by the way so yeah so is there any like games that you guys are all playing now like that you seem to not get off of at the moment I just downloaded Steam the other day to go back and play a bunch of like point and click games that I've never played before. I you know I'm a fan. I like thought you said downloaded Steam to watch porn. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I literally thought that's what he said. I'm like, Chris, come no. on, man. <laughs> no. But I I just felt like revisiting like um I was searching like point and click games like best, you know. Yeah. And of course I played King's Quest and Police Quest, Space Quest. But there was some like Loom that I'd never played. Um, there was another one like Quest for Infinity, I mm. think it's called, something like that. So I was like, man, I want to go revisit these old point and click games. So. Yeah, Steam Engine is pretty good. Like they have all the games and everything. Yeah, they were like whole packs of them for like six bucks. There's you a get game. like the whole collection of all of them. <laughs> there so. is a game that me and my friends just downloaded. It's called Lethal Company. And basically huh. the backstory it is it's like a horror game. But all you do is basically you go to an earth. It's pretty much desolate. And then you go and look for scraps. But on that earth at random... There is monsters everywhere at any time. So you go into this little building, and it could literally be any type of, like, scary creature coming at you. And they're all jump scares, and they all kill you. And then it's voice proximity chat. I don't know if you guys know what that is. But, like, basically, you're closer to your friends, but as you leave them, your voice fades out. Oh, right? that's cool. I like so that. So you, you hear your friend in oh, one other room. that's interesting. Yeah. Cool. It's a PC game? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you hear your um, the voice start to fade out, and then... You hear your friend scream, and then all of a sudden, once it cuts out of the voice, you just know that they died I've in never, that other room. I've never thought about that in a game, like because we all have voice chat, but it's you can use it anywhere, right? You're in Call of Duty, they're across the map, and you can talk to them. But like if they're far away, you can't hear them. That's interesting. That's Dude, we cool. sat there for seven hours just laughing, crying, and screaming for each other. Dude, it's running for me. <laughs> so Ben, did you have another one besides Tetris? Uh, I did. What is it? All right, ready? Can I so, guess? Uh, sure. Oregon Trail. I was oh, gonna I was gonna say, say Oregon Trail. I've never played that game. Really? Yeah. I, was gonna say I feel like that. you would like it. I have the handheld, but I never actually played it. Fate gamer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what is it? Let's hear it. All right, SMS. Okay, Sega Master System. Ooh, give me a clue. It is a vehicle of some type. Hang okay. on. Gran Turismo. No. Nope. <laughs> Gran Turismo. Space Harrier. Uh, no, Choplifter. You played Choplifter oh. a lot. Yeah, man. So that is the epitome of SMS for me. So my uncle had an SMS, and I remember, like, it just brings me back, just hearing 
hearing that startup sound for the game and then the helicopter going. It's good stuff. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I have one other I wanted. Let's see if uh, anybody else shares. I actually have a lot more hours into this than mo you would probably think. Ricky knows that I like this game a lot. Ready? Who's ready for it? I'm going to turn down the music so it doesn't blow everybody away. Let's see. Ready? You do like this game. Anybody else like Mappy Land? Ben looked at me like he had no idea what this was. I definitely Never don't know what that is. I'm sorry you didn't get a tattoo I of this. Had the arc I had the arcade machine of this, and I redid Mappy Land. It's a pretty cool arcade. It was actually like in a Junior Miss Pac-Man, I think, or Junior Pac-Man, and they converted them into Mappy Lands. That's the only time I ever played it, but I was like, that's a pretty good game. Actually. You liked it? I did like okay, it. Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. It's, it's a cute game. Ricky knows I love it. I love the music. There's only like, I think, four or five levels, but you can just keep replaying, and certain things change as you go on. The mechanics are simple. You're a, a mouse running from cats, but you can like look at me and hit little sausages that fling around. It's like smacking <laughs> Curtis. <laughs> and a little sausage bounces around and repels the women. <laughs> so, <laughs> Chris, I love you. I'm so yeah, sorry. No, that's hilarious. I had to. No, but it's it's so fun, man. It's one of my it's one of my tops. Uh, Pretty cool. There is one game that you guys definitely need to play, and that's Mortal Kombat One, that new one that just came out. I'm telling you right now. Yes, it's a short story, but it is like a movie when you're playing. Mm. Like they made it so user friendly and also easier to not follow the backstory of things to where it's like it can start up new users with a whole new type of gameplay because basically what happens is Liu Kang restarts the universe yes like of Mortal Kombat so uh, that really channel cool. that I watched that I've talked about before kill count dead meat he recently started during like the writer strike or something he like didn't want to like talk about regular movies so he went into Mortal Kombat and started doing kill counts on those. And it was interesting because, you know, when I play fighting games, I do not pay attention to story at all. But now I was like, oh, this is for my chance to kind of like be like, man, there's so much of a deep backstory to Mortal Kombat. I mean, it goes super deep, super intuitive, super, you know, what I wouldn't expect in a yep. fighting game. Because fighting game, I was like, why are you even showing a story? But I guess people are all about it. Yeah. Even though the game's pretty whack. And I, I liked it a lot. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so it kidding. does have like the best story. I was trying to think, does Street Fighter even have a storyline yes, to it? With, at with all? different characters. Whoever you beat it with would give you a different ending. Yeah, there you go. I love that. I, I used to, when I used to play Street Fighter, I used to try to do all the characters at once. Just, no. just to see what's just going on. Just to see on. just to see yeah. what's going on. Like Blanca Maybe finds his mom, Chun Li. Okay. Who's who says what? Ricky, you can't answer. Okay. Go home and be a family man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Guile, man. That yeah. is Guile. I knew yeah. it. Duke Nukem, right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um, are there any games that you guys are looking forward to playing like soon? Like if you're gonna like planning to buy Mario RPG released, I haven't bought it yet on purpose mm. because I'm almost finished with Mario Wonder. Mario Wonder, by the way, has just been wonderful, stupid wonderful. It is such a fun game. I think what they did with taking everything we know about a Mario game, like a side-scrolling Mario game, obviously in you know, Mario Odyssey, they broke the mold and went, you could turn into this and go side-scrolling and then go 3D. But them for keeping it a side-scrolling platformer, they were so like forward-thinking with like knowing that people, you know, it's a new age. People are like, okay, we gotta mix it up. Every like five levels, there's like a new ability. You can wear different badges that change what you're able to do. Characters that you know do things that they would never normally do. There's a lot of new enemies. I feel like they they, they made me keep my interest much more than like any of like the Super Mario Wii games did, which I still like those games. But for being a traditional side-scrolling platformer, I think that's by far the best one we've had probably since Mario World. So I won't say it's wow. better, though. A lot of people have been comparing it to Mario World. I won't say it's better. Though. You guys have anything? Grand Theft Auto 6, if it ever comes out. Yeah, well, the I know trailer's the, coming the out. The trailer. I think they I think. released the trailer, yeah. I believe. Yeah, um, true. I'm a huge Grand Theft Auto fan. I've loved them all. San Andreas, probably my favorite. Vice City, um, all the. Yeah, I mean, I just love that series. So, also, I find myself not having as much time to game anymore. So, like, it has to be a really good game for me to like sit down and sit actually, down and devote the time to it. Yeah, I and, was actually talking with like a customer at my day job today, and I was just like randomly talking about like electricity. And he's like, "Man, you know what?" When's Grand Theft Auto 6 coming out? And I was like, what the? <laughs> I don't even think he knew I gamed. No, like, Rip looks back at him. I was like, I'm living it right yeah, now yeah. where I'm at, dude. Long as yeah, it is. I work in a certain part. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think it's been 10 years. I think wow. somebody said Grand Theft Auto 5 came out in 2013, I it believe. It feels like Jeez. it never died. I know. It could be, right. The and community. my son was saying that because he's like, oh, yeah, we still play Grand Theft Auto 5 it's all like the died. time. Yeah. 10 years they've been like... Never dipped in popularity. Really so. dragging it out, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. That's how I feel about Skate 3. It, I think it's like the same thing. I think it's been like 10 years, and they announced, 
one of my favorite uh, hats is I bought a hat a long time ago that said make EA skate again and it was like you know the Trump red and white but because EA makes skate and it's like skate is such a huge fan base but they never pumped out a skate four and then they announced one like three years ago and it's never come out and I'm like dude skate three to this day if you go on YouTube there's just bazillions of people still doing it. it's very open world that's actually was on my list as well on here look at that Skate no, three. <laughs> nice lead in, Chris. Look at that right there. Dang. Yeah, my other one would have been Pikmin. I don't know if anybody ever. Played oh my that. gosh, I love Pikmin. Yeah, so I feel much. like I could just play through that mindlessly for hours and just love it. And they're just adorable little roots, man. You like but that game? I, I can honestly tell you, I probably played it for a minute and I forgot like what it's like. Pikmin. Wow. I, I, oh, you would I, love. I have Pikmin. to try it again. That's one of my favorite series. <laughs> yeah. I love it, it so is, much. And it's got such a cult following too, and it's amazing. Are we doing ranking system? Because if it is <laughs> solid F, I hate. That. <laughs> what? I hate Pikmin, dude. Oh my I played gosh. it multiple times too. It's just not my style, Ben. I've never even played it. <laughs> no desire to. Huh? I'm just kidding. It doesn't Find look, my favorite, doesn't look very favorite. good to me. <laughs> you're right. There is a huge community for it, though. Huge. I always liked like the real time strategy games like Command and Conquers and stuff wow. like that. Wow. So Pikmin is like kind of like that. That makes you're sense. building your little army and then you can like direct it and do things. So I just lo I love that. And love those that will thing. sink your time. I mean, that's the whole point of this conversation is time. Yeah. That will sink RTS games will take your time. Take Every it. move is like <laughs> you can have it. Go yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, you know, I just wanted to like transition to our next topic. It's the uh, the worst of the worst. Oh, oh no, I'm a little worried about this one. <laughs> so, I, Curtis, I was like the other day, I was sitting there and I was like, I, I don't remember what it was, but something pissed me off, and I was like, God, that makes me mad. And I was like, Man, I would love to talk about it on the podcast. And I was like, Dude, I literally immediately voice messaged Curtis. I'm like, Let's do a segment where we can just straight up say things that piss you off. It doesn't even have to be gaming. Anything. And you don't get pissed off very easily, do you? And it's it's like very dumb things that piss me off. I mean, yes, there are things, that, you know, obviously that make me mad. But there's a, like my first thing in here as my biggest one, I'll just start. Paper straws. Oh, I oh dude. Hate, <laughs> I worse. hate them. Yeah. With stupid. a passion. You, so, I, I, although, although I'm, I'm there. Like, I'm over like 150 days, whatever it is, sober from soda <laughs> now. But when I was drinking soda, when you gave me a paper straw, I don't think that I like even could look at it without just like my blood boiling. Nothing <laughs> tastes good out of them. Everything tastes worse. A, they get flimsy in seconds. Yeah. And the funniest thing is I've seen them put the paper straws in plastic, which defeats the purpose of taking away plastic to put straws in. There's a lot of peas in that. <laughs> Pixel podcast, people. Yeah. No, I mean, it was funny, like, right when you said that, you were ready, like, you were already mad, like, thinking about it, dude. Paper straws is one of my number one things that angers me. I, I don't, don't, I, I don't, I hate, don't give me the lecture about what it does for, I don't, there's dumber things and stupider things that we're wasting our time with. Paper straws just uh, really grinds my gears. <laughs> I think one of the pet peeves that I have is people who cut in line. Oh, yeah. Dude, I could be in a line and at an estate sale or anywhere like in Disneyland. And if I see somebody that I know didn't wait their turn, yeah. I want to just karate mm. chop their their arteries. Dude. Dang, I'm a line cutter. Are yeah, dude. <laughs> if I can. No, not but get it, caught. But it happened at the I'll last try to. <laughs> In a car, absolutely. <laughs> no, like if I'm at an amusement park. in and out. I'm, the, but yeah, there's that too. That annoys me. Too. It annoys me at the same time if somebody else cuts. But if I can, if I'm at an amusement park, I'm like, man, how can I cut this line? Like, if there any little shortcut. No. And me and my brother, when we were younger, used Probably to try to paper find. straws too. <laughs> Chris, Chris has done that, but no. But there was this one lady that walked up with me and Tony, and we definitely showed up before her, and we left after we put our name on the list. And as we were walking away, this lady walks up and she goes, oh, yeah, how's it going? Trying to chop it up with oh, us. Oh, boy. Right? Mm. And I guess when she was in front of us while we were walking away, she crossed out like a couple of the people and Whoa. put her name above it. No oh. way. Yeah. And then That's she was scary. trying to be like, well, I didn't like I was here before them. And I was like, I was boiling. I was like, I was literally like, are you kidding me? Like, you couldn't <laughs> wait just two more people. State sales recently have been like almost on the mm. like cusp of like fist fighting. Yeah. Because there's been more and more of that. And I don't cut in line when I'm at a state sales. I don't cut in line no, all, no, the no, no. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Only time. <laughs> amusement parks is one. He uses That's about it. If he, I'm at amusement parks, I'll what try about to SoCal Gaming Expo? <laughs> I mean, we when we went most recently, remember, we were like, yeah. dang, the line was like 200 people long. Now, we didn't cut. We didn't cut. But we found the manager who got us in front of the line, which is technically like cutting, 
But we didn't wait in line. I mean, it yeah. depends. I will say, like, the first time we ever went to, like, an event, like, when we first started YouTube, I remember waiting in line. And this isn't to be whatever, but, like, the manager walked by, and it was Brooke at the time. Oh, yeah. And we didn't know her, but she knew us, and she's like, what are you doing in line? Get over here. And I was like... I would rather somebody <laughs> cut, but like, don't do it while I'm there, right? What do you think about line savers, though? Is that like put it this way? How do you feel when you're in a, let's say you're in a state sale, right? Or even worse, you're at the. Uh, I'm looking at him right now. The line savers. <laughs> the lines, he uses a redheaded mop as a, <laughs> as a line saver. Yo, <laughs> oh man, Ooh, I'm just kidding, Mike. I love you, man. He can sleep in. We did this recently at an estate sale. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want and to then, say it. And then I got waxed on this shirt, dude. I'm feeling it. I bought it from Blake, and I was like, dang. Yeah, that's right. You were there. Tony was there. Oh. I was second in line. It's been festering, dude. I'm <laughs> but I was. <laughs> it does piss me off when you're like just standing there or say you're even like at a, a store about to order food and then all of a sudden you're like sweet there's only two people in front of me and then all of a sudden you see, hear the door open behind you and the guy in front's like oh to their friend and it's like a so a team of 14 soccer oh, players and you're yeah. like, what are you doing <laughs> right Chris? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I feel the animosity of... between me and him right now I'm just kidding Ben what pisses you off? So when you buy something off of eBay or huh? somewhere like that. This is going to be another one Chris does. I can already <laughs> tell. So, <laughs> so when the seller like wraps the item in uh, like bubble wrap and then they tape it. Like why Dang do you Curtis. have to freaking tape it? Just fold it in such a way where it's not going to fall out of the bubble wrap in the package. That's then, weird so there's two, there's two reasons. Do you I, do that? I taped that. Oh out of my that god! Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god. It looks like go. it looks like a like a bomb when it's done. It's like, <laughs> it's it's or a like, a, like a kilo. Because then something, there's two you know? things. Like, like the first thing up. is you have to worry about like like Damaging cutting your item out of the little bubble, and then the other thing is you can't reuse the bubble wrap, so you've just wasted. You know, we're like, you could just reuse it for... if you're Look into his eyes, bro. I, I, I <laughs> think it's more of him just, like, having to not be able to reuse the bubble wrap. Because you can literally get into an item just do this. Bro. Real simple. Gotta be careful, though. Ben, I will admit, has the hardest time letting go of, like, not only video games. He'll, like, come to our house and be like, oh, guys, I have these boxes. And I'm like, dude, we can't use them. <laughs> They're, like, seven-foot boxes. He's like, I know, but I don't want to throw them away. And I'm like, Ben. <laughs> they end up getting thrown away. He comes with the Home Depot But at least I didn't have to see it get thrown away. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, Chris? <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys not use when you're wrapping stuff? You don't use oh, plastic. We don't. We don't. We don't like it. go. We just tape I, it. We I don't use a little bit of tape, but I'm not like where you're like basically yeah. like C4 right there. Like I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's, like, it's C4 all angles all the way around. <laughs> I have to know what pisses you off then. Um, mine is in uh, ne negotiations. This bothers me to no end. Okay. All right. When somebody has something and they say, oh, I want to sell something. Right. And then you say, OK, well, how much do you want for it? And they go, make me an offer. OK. And then you go, I, I right away I get annoyed with it because I'm like, OK, now I have to guess. OK. OK. So then I guess and I say, OK, would you say uh, maybe you take 200 for it? And they go. Oh no, that's way too low. <laughs> then I'm like, why, why am I guessing? If you know, you had a ring. and then the next question is, okay, two hundred. What do you want? Oh, I'd like at least four hundred. Why didn't you just say four hundred from the beginning? So I that always annoys mm. me with the guessing game of that. If you have an item you want to sell, you have a price in mind. <laughs> Everybody does, unless I approach you and I say, man, I really like that shirt, and you're like, not for sale. Got it. But maybe if you made me an offer, then it's acceptable. Yeah, what's your, like, what's your, I have to let it go price? I right. don't want to let it We're go We're like, price. I'm, yeah, you're like, I don't want to sell it. Okay, well, what if I offered you 500, would you take it? Then it's acceptable. But when you approach me and say, oh, I want to sell this, that to no end bothers me. I'm sure you guys have dealt with that before. Totally. I, yeah. I recently started, even with some people, I think it was with the jackets. I bought, like, this shirt and, like, a couple jackets from a buddy of ours. And I think I just saw everything. I was like, hey, let's, like, cut the negotiation what's your actual low like right now like what is what is that number to where you would have been like okay fine like give me that number let's just let's just get there and then he gave the number and i was like all right let's do that that sounds fair because yeah i i hate i don't mind them saying give me an offer but it's the attitude after when you give them an offer and they're like oh, yeah you try not i wouldn't to, take that you're like, oh it's ridiculous yeah, yeah you try not to insult people but it's like i don't know what you really want like this is how much i'm willing to pay and, but, and nine out of ten times if somebody says well make me an offer well then you're like oh shoot where do i go do i go like and you're gonna go low yeah you always say so, i don't want to offend you but yeah, it's ten bucks <laughs> Yeah. No way. That's ridiculous. Well, you told me to make an offer. So that yeah. I, I that happened with me recently on a really expensive Nintendo game, actually. Which one? 
Uh, it was a stadium event. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was asked to make an offer, and I was like, okay, and I made an offer, which was in the thousands, you know, but. 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, rule, and one. No, rule it was thirds, 300. So 2,000. Yeah. No, it was thousands, and I felt it was a good offer, but then that was the response that I got. Like, Whoa, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, okay, well, what do you want? I mean, so, <laughs> 40,000. 40, I'll, I'll be honest right now. For loose? Yes. Can I say something? Condition I'll be wise, it's. Not trying to offend anybody, but I've been in multiple conventions the past year. That's the highest price I've heard on it. Yeah, I've I, seen multiple copies. Again, I still think it's too high. In the 30s, like listed, like 30 grand at an expo. There was yeah. one just listed like a month ago. Less. For 16, like 17 right? 17 or something. I think yeah. it went up for 18. Then maybe pull that closer to you so that you can hear it. Yeah, yeah I think there was one on eBay that came up at 18. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and uh, and it did sell. It sold like the next day. Was it dusty? Yeah, it was gone. <laughs> I don't know who it was. Now, if it was an NWC cart, I'm gonna tell you oh, right now, those... you better offer up on that, bo boy. I'm gonna tell you right now. Gray there or was gold? A, there was a, a, a one found at a half uh, price books or something like that. Oh wow! Or book off or something like books? that. Yeah, and like uh, an employee found it, and I was watching this YouTuber. He was oh, talking yeah, about right. how. There's only 150 made, right? And this one that came up had a different number, and it was like finally in circulation now that it popped up. And the guy said that he did. He told the employer, so the employer did the research, and oh, they man. put it up. I mean, if I was that employee, I'm getting fired that day. I'm I'm leaving, dude. <laughs> oh, you're just taking <laughs> off of the game, That's, dude. They sold it for like I think 40 or 50 thousand. Wow. This is at Goodwill, you said. This is at a half price book oh, or half book, book off, off, one of those two. But they had it up online. And it sold immediately. There was some controversy to that story because he had posted it on Reddit. And he didn't know what to do about it at the time. Mm. And so, like, people were telling him, like, all kinds of crazy stuff to do. And then he, like, took it down. He took that Reddit listing down, for what I remember. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, then, but there was pictures of the cart, and they're all individually numbered. So if that cart ever got out in the wild, they would have known how would it got it would have got there. Yeah, yeah. So that was what's crazy. If he didn't say anything at all, he would just have an uncirculated cart. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's what's insane about that stuff. So, hey, Ricky, did you have a pet peeve, sir? Oh, I got too many. I just don't want to get into Let's them. Hear no, it. no, we need to hear get it now, them. Right, right, dude. Right. Sauces. <laughs> right. So, uh, th this one might actually be my fault, though, but um, I'll do a swap me one for now. For now. So, when you pick up some items and they're like, oh, 10 each. And so, you grab the one thing you want that you know is worth about 30 bucks, and then you, t you take it up to them, but, you know... I can't hide it. I usually have a smile on my face. He's like, yeah, I'm about to you were definitely yeah. you're bad, you're bad at hiding it. Yep. <laughs> and then they go, oh, sorry, that the others are $10. This one's $40. They'll even go above like asking price. I'm just like, son of a... <laughs> yeah. And I know in my head, I'm the one that got myself into that. But either way, dude, it happens all the time. That kind of plays into like the Chris one, but like that one, they actually know the price. What I'll do to what, what I'll do <laughs> what I'll do to combat that sometimes is if they're like you know there's 20 games on the table. Hey, they're 10 each, and I know I'm grabbing the one that's worth 40 or 50. I'll also grab like a jank one on purpose <laughs> and bring that up with it. And kind of be like, all right, tiny, here you he go. Goes, how much for this basura? <laughs> yeah, how much for this? And I just basically kind of, you know, I, they, they see the games. I'm not trying to hide anything. But I think it just takes away when you're game hunting and a vendor sees a Mario, a Pokemon, a Donkey Kong, a, a Pikachu, anything like that in the cover, their brain thinks, oh, it's worth money. So a lot of times I'll be, you know, like I've said before, grab a Madden game and just be like, all right, here's my garb and just, just go <laughs> for that. And that's what I usually do. I'll grab like all the garbage, like how much? Oh, 10 each. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I didn't want these. Here you go. You might have to take the L and just buy both to combat that. <laughs> now, you said you had another one. What was the other one? Oh, I, we might have gone through this, but I, I started calculating this, uh, how much it's been costing me. It kind of pissed me off. <laughs> For what? All right. So no, no matter where I go now, I feel like even at, at certain grocery stores, they ask if you want to tip, even though they're not doing anything for at a me. grocery store oh yeah i see it on the grocery store yeah. now wow. they're doing it at grocery stores where they're like oh would you like to add a tip i'm like everywhere i'm sorry oh, did you what? bag my did you bag my stuff i bagged it myself i saw a guy did a video on that i think it was michael knowles or something yes. where it was like it was something like that he, he went to it automated there's no Dude. employees he went in there oh, yeah. brought his food up paid for his food everything put in the credit card and it's like would you like to tip us it's like who am I tipping? But <laughs> even at the food Google <laughs> doing this, I'm like, what? The software developer that made this. Yeah, who am I tipping? Yeah, so, that would that would that that definitely grinds my so gears it's, too. So it's not only that, but like also like when you're just standing there at like you know a Starbucks and they're like, oh, would you like to tip? Yeah. Or if you're taking your food to go, I still tip. 
I still tip regardless, but I we know hate Chris it. doesn't. We talked about that, <laughs> but I just hate it when they're just staring at me. I'm just like, oh god, it's like a horrible feeling. Oh, uh, so I, I think I calculated. I think on tips, I was looking at my thing. It's like I spend like close to like a hundred bucks a month just on tips. I'm like, wow. dude, I like I like the feeling of like just like tipping like the homies like at the the, the, the restaurants. Like I go to yeah. Bonsai Bowl like every day pretty much. If they're now. gonna pick up my food, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll tip them. But if I have to pick up my food, refill my drink, You're I'm tipping like, AI. We what are we doing? About the tips, boys. We're good on that. It's no. Yeah. Right, I, I have one. This actually is probably my number one to where like you know when you, you ever think a thought and you're like, man, I can't believe I just thought that dark. You ever think Don't act like you guys don't. You, you've think. thought things in your life where you, you think something, you're like, oh man, I can't believe I just thought that's pretty dark. Yeah, yeah. When people speed through neighborhoods. Oh, when they dude. speed by going 45 by my kids who are playing, I'm like, I hope they get in a car accident and I watch them. <laughs> I hope I watch their car flip and them struggle to get out. And I'm just like, hmm. That, yeah, but I think, that also, does. I think that also hits like personal because it's like somebody actually hit a car front like for years, right? At night. That actually, that did happen in my neighborhood. Literally, I went on Valentine's Day out with my wife. And my parked, I had a Honda Element at the time, parked it out in front of my house. And my parents called me and said that they just got out of the car with my kids. And seconds later, a drunk driver hit my car and, and it flipped it over to the next door neighbor's house in their front yard. Wow. And my kids were just in there. Wow. And I was like, I could kill this guy. Yeah. I could kill him. And I know and it's those you moments would. where you're like, <laughs> I think I could actually kill you. Yeah. Residential neighborhoods, I mean, that's not really that cool to speed. Exactly. There's kids everywhere. A kid could easily pop out from a car and... We were... I just got back from vacation and we were in some pretty populated like touristy areas. Yeah. And there... We're walking down the street. I mean, there was hundreds of people on the side of the roads and all of a sudden you just hear squealing tires and somebody just burning out, ripping down the main line. And I was like, what on earth are you doing? Yep. It was like two seconds later, like an old guy like pushing a cart with like something on it, like walked out. I'm like... That guy could have just gotten smoked. smoked. There and was, it happens. It, so it happens absurd. daily. There was no reason for it at all. Wow. Yeah. When I so when we were younger, my dad. Sorry, dad, I'm riding you out. When we were younger, <laughs> I used to <laughs> piss him off too. And my dad used to give us rocks. And when we play in the freighters, if a car speeds by, chuck a rock as hard as you can in their car. Ooh, and we used yeah. to do it. <laughs> chuck yeah. out a car. And I work in the street, <laughs> so it's like people don't slow down, even though I have an orange vest on. Like yeah. they do not care. They that speed I'm in up the if they see the orange. Oh vest. yeah, you know what I usually do? Like <laughs> ten points. I usually hold Four out. A, I just hold out a hammer, just like enough at yeah. like arms width, like just in case. <laughs> so it clips Dang. to the car. Yeah, I'm like, if you go close enough to me, you'll feel it on your car. And I want to make it clear, we're not promoting violence. We're just promoting this violence. This was in my private days, I promise. So, <laughs> 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 you know, but I mean, like you know, <laughs> there's also another pet peeve that I have is. It's not even about people. It's just being in traffic when there shouldn't be traffic, man. Oh, like it's like uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. But, but people like literally, will, yeah, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon or like there's like a speed chase on the other side or something's on the other uh, side. Rubberneckers. And everybody goes, everybody goes. <laughs> rubberneckers. Yeah. And they just slow down All and right. it backs up so I, quick. I agree. Now, let's be honest. Do you look too? <laughs> no, I want to go. Turn, yeah. I am a by speed the, racer. By the time I get to it, and I'm, I'm just I'm, as annoyed as you, but by I'm the time pissed. I get to it, I might as well like, see them skip I'm like, all right, now I waited. It's my Everybody else <laughs> it's, it's like we talked about cutting in line. You're like, I already waited in line. <laughs> I'm like, the show. Yeah, I might as well see the show now. So that I I'm think like, I get right. so mad because I just see red lights like all in California, like at, in LA area. As, as as soon as it hits 2 p.m., you know that it's just like, do, do, do. I mean, let's be real. We live in California. The traffic is pretty much garble and regardless. There shouldn't oh, be yeah. traffic. There's nothing going on. Versus when we go in Arkansas over there, it's just like, dude, free roll. Like, nobody's around. But like, we did almost get killed. That's true. They were probably drinking and driving. I, I don't know. They were honking. How about people who don't put their shopping carts back? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I was just saying in general. I was just saying. I always put it back. I was just. I needed eye contact when I said it, so I didn't I, stutter. I, <laughs> I. It doesn't make me mad, per se, but I am a big believer. Now, I will say this. This is a, a, a almost like a parenting thing. Something that gets me angry is when I'm with parents and their kids will like mess up the store or like purposely not put the cart back. And then the parents will say to the kids, oh, don't worry. It's their job to like clean. Mm. And I'm like, you son of a gun. What a horrible thing. Like, yes, it is their job to clean. Yes, they are getting paid to clean. But yes, you should teach your kids common courtesy, common respect. Like I, I've actually been very noticing. I've noticed us as a group, when we go out to eat, I've noticed we're all very aware of making sure the table is like better than we left it. Like, oh, make sure you grab that, fix the chair. Okay, look, like we're always, and that's like not giving us like tooting our horns. But that's how it should be. Proper manners. Proper you know, manners. Makes sense, man. Yeah. 
But I think one of the things is like uh, there was a YouTube guy who goes and actually puts bumper stickers on Cart people. Narcs. Dude, that guy is the funniest. <laughs> That's 987. That. Yeah. He's gotten me Cart to narcs. start putting carts back. Yeah, he more, did. Over the years. Because I'm always like, man, I don't want to be caught. <laughs> <The guy laughs> <Yeah. like this. laughs> Somebody runs up, why didn't you put that back? Chris leaves his cart out and he's like, <laughs> Looking around left to right, like Yo, oh. imagine he got a bumper sticker on the Corvette. I know Chris would be pissed. Dude. Is there the, like the kind that don't pull off too? Right? Yeah, you're oh, e that's that the East word. Coast side of you would just instantly be like, "Are you serious, dude? For a car?" I see. We this is a topic that I or a, a podcast segment I'd love to be returning because I feel like it's so easy to get so lost. There's so many things. There's that you can so go many things, but I don't want to blow it all now. All right, so but. we're just gonna go on to our next one then. Uh, agree or disagree? Ooh. We gotta pass out these bad. Everybody Boys. Everybody for Retro Rick, say that again, and after he does, everyone go, ooh, Rick hates when we do that. Agree or disagree? <laughs> ooh. ooh. I I've been waiting oh. for this one, man. Yeah. I mean, I love I'm, this one. I'm definitely keeping that in. That Just that <laughs> pause for Oh, everyone. please do. Please do. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on to our first one. It's going to be going out clubbing is fun. Actually, I don't want to start with that one. I want to start with... That's a hard disagree for me anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I want to go on to the next one. Analog is an overrated company. Oh! oh. You said that because Ben's here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah. And I like Bring to start on. on a gaming one, so... Oh, man, this is hard. Ben disagrees hard. Uh, analog? analog? Analog is an overrated company. Why do I not know what Analog is? Because no one can get them before oh, you go. Because they your... sell out before anyone can get them. <laughs> the Pocket, the Super NT, Mega oh, okay. Ben. You got to keep it in front of you, sir. I'm going to say it's oh, overrated. I have to say it's overrated. <laughs> um, not that many people have it, so I can't really say it's overrated. I think we have to go immediately to Ben. Yeah, so to, to, ben. to clarify for All people right. who are watching, Ben actually is a big analog guy. You collect them. Yeah? Um, you buy them. He's probably to the, number one. To the, point <laughs> where, number one customer. <laughs> to the point to where the other day he just got done buying an analog. Then he sends me a screenshot of a green analog of the same thing he just bought. And I literally responded in the group chat. I was like, dude's so dumb, like buying the same one. Two like hours later, he's like, I just bought it, and I was like, Benjamin, <laughs> hold yourself. The best part yourself. was he bought a pink one too. Yes, yeah, oh, <laughs> I did buy the pink one. Pink one was really awesome. Cool. All right, tell All right, us. Explain yourself, sir. All right, so Analog is a boutique company that makes premium retro products, right? Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to buy it if you don't want to spend that money, right? So, but if you do want to buy it, you just have to accept the fact that like it's going to take some time to get that because a lot of people want that and. You know, they're just not because like if they make too many products, right, then they're at risk of like not being able to sell them. Right. So it's like a business decision for them to only make so many at a time. But if that do, makes sense. do you know how many they're making or do they not make that public? They never tell you. Mm, so like when they do a pre-order sometimes, like everybody mad dashes to buy it. And then you never know, like, for example, so the current, the most recent one they announced, well, actually, the 3D was the most recent one for the N64. But before that, they announced the Duo. Okay, so that's the Turbo. Like for the Turbo. And the PC Engine, right? So that pre-order is still open today. And it's been open for, like, months and months. And it's not sold out. It's not sold out. So what they're doing is they're just bringing in as many units as they could sell and then eventually they'll make, they'll put in the order at the Chinese factory or wherever, you know, it gets made to actually make them. All right. But what they're doing, like, for example, with these limited edition pockets, you, you don't know how many they're going to make. So everybody mad dashes just like they did with the duo. Like I put my duo order in like the first minute, right? As soon as they announced it. For like it. five of them, for sure. No, just for one <laughs> in each color. One U.S. color, one Japanese. Because they only, they, there's a quantity limit. <laughs> Scalper. Two at a time. <laughs> I don't, I've... Yeah? No, you're good. Never he mind. hasn't really. <laughs> he, has, <laughs> he hasn't ever sold, though. That's the thing. Like, he's always... Uh, true. Oh. Ben, you more trade it. You uh, trade him. He is a true collector of animals. He is a true collector. Oh, wait. There was at one point he did. But there was a couple things I sold. No, yeah, yeah. let's be real. Ben is... More of a collector than any. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But also, we always joke about Rahiba being hoarder. Ben beats him by it. <laughs> ben just bought a, a storage unit and he throws things in there. And I'm like, dude, why'd you buy that? He's like, I don't know, storage unit. <laughs> I was like, I, nice. I typically <laughs> actually enjoy the analog pocket just because it does give you a glimpse back into your retro gaming. It's very it's awesome. easy, and it's the graphics are pretty much updated to the point where it's like you're playing a on the baby screen and it's cool because it's way better than emulation because they use fpga technology which yeah. is like hardware recreation 
So it's just, in my opinion, the best way to experience and explore all these different libraries of retro games. Got it. Agreed. Good job, Ben. <laughs> we said no. Sounds overrated. What's our answer? <laughs> yeah, it's just overrated. I'm next surprised. one. I've never played any of it. I didn't right, even gonna, know what it was. Yeah, we'll go on to our next one. <laughs> this one's going to be directed at somebody. Riff is the best gamer in this room. No, that's not what it was. No, I know you're going to play. I am the best gamer in this room. Basically, oh. the, the statement was, for yourself, I am the best gamer nice. in this room. So you thumbs up if you think you're the best gamer in this room. Best Hold gamer at what? The, it, the it, best gamer are overall. Are you the best yeah. gamer overall? Oh! I'll have to say nah. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to agree with that. I just like it. I just wish it was just directed at Riff. That would have been way better. Because then everybody didn't have to decide. <laughs> ben says he's not. Chris says he is. I says I, says, I say I am. Ricky, I want to say why. I, I probably not. Ricky says he's not. All right, so All right, bro. One, I brought the analog pocket right here to play. <laughs> one on one. No, I'm just kidding. So for people at home, uh, Ricky and uh, Ben both disagreed, and Riff and Chris agreed. On but this one. so th this is a battle between you, you and I. From what I've heard of okay. what you speed running Contra, for instance, okay. that's pretty good gaming. But when it comes to, I have played all sorts of games for like a while. What's, what's your claims? What's your hard games? You're like, dude, I smoke them. Well, I, oh man, mm. hard games like Super Metroid, Metroid games. I can smoke, um, <laughs> but any you basic put a game, tier stuff. But I, no, oh, okay, if so you like, put a game like any kind of game in front of me, real time strategy. Um, oh, I'm like, pretty dumb. I, I'm not good at those. Like across the board, I feel like I'm pretty good. Even fighting games, Mortal Kombat, I'd smoke you. Ooh, um, he <laughs> you would. You would. Yeah, he would. I, I firmly agree. You would smoke. And me. if I have a good amount, like a little bit of time to get good at, I get good at games pretty fast. That's my claim. Now, but from what you've said of the games you have played, like beating Contra, no lives. That's Cuphead, no touch. Cuphead, no touch. Like, I couldn't do that. That's amazing. So. I can't even get past level two, dude. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky actually got to experience it. We went and traveled uh, to Florida, and he was like, man, I've been stuck on these levels in Cuphead. And I'm like, let me see your Switch. And he, like, started to watch a movie. Like, an hour later, he's like, did you beat it? I'm like, oh, I did it like eight levels already. He's like, what? <laughs> he's like, I just gave you the controller. Now, I would say who's the best retro versus the most best current. You'd probably beat me in current. Maybe. Depends. Like, even shooting games, I'm pretty decent. Shooter, like shooters? Yeah. Okay. Shmups? Shmups. Okay, I'm pretty shmups good at shmups, too. Yeah, shmups I'm good at. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even, like, trying to, like, elevate yeah. me. Like, I'm cool. I just mean, like, you know, I know what I am good at and what I'm not good at. I'd say you'd probably beat me at fighting games and, like... Definitely real time strategy stuff. I'd be horrible at that. You seem really good at platformers. Plat I think that's my my more of my claim is just if you give me any platformer or side scroller, I feel like I just understand it. Yeah, like my brain just understands, which like I'm decent at. So we run a thing at Retro World, which may would be nice to run at SoCal too, which we call the Ultimate Gamer Challenge. Ooh, which is where they uh, a group comes in called Frag and sets it up on like ten or twelve different consoles, huh? and it's different shmups, platformers, all different types of games across the whole gamut of uh gaming and you have to score certain challenges on each oh, one. Oh, that's cool it's a really good way to say who is actually like the best gamer Ooh, i like that what's frag yeah, for uh federation of retro arcade gamers i believe no uh freaking riff awesome guy <laughs> <laughs> that was on the fly all right we're gonna, right, go, what you got? We're gonna go next one apple is better than android oh this is oh, brutal God. Oh God! This is an easy. This one. is disagree Heart for me. He's gonna no, hold on. Ricky's the only green bubbles in here. I'm disagreeing. Uh, I'm green. I'm disagreeing. Right, so and I have the new iPhone Pro Max. I've had it for a, couple, a year now. We got Riff and Ricky both disagree, and Ben and Chris are agreeing. So Followers. defend yourselves over there, Androids. <laughs> so who ha who has Apple? I have Apple. I have Apple. Yeah. Apple I used to. Apple. So listen, you have Android? Here, here's mine. I've had Android my whole life. Always got the best ones. Um, I, I like Apple better for computers. I will say that. But because I'm a, like a visual guy, I edit, I do media, Photoshop, I like it all better on that. But when it comes to phone, I've been an Android guy my entire life. And I recently switched over like two years ago. I'm dying to switch back. Really? The video quality is worse. The audio quality is worse. It's great for AirDrop, but I feel like that's the only thing I like better about it. Spec-wise, my brother's a huge tech guy. And anytime someone says Apple's better, he said he like literally already just thinks they're dumb. He's like, obviously, they don't know specs. He's like, they don't know tech. Sorry, Ben and Chris. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> now, that's just my argument. I want to hear your argument because you're both mildly smart. So for me, 
I, I, I don't want to like die on this sword. I, I'm just an Apple user, so that's oh, okay. Crazy. So I'm just used to it. So for me personally, I will always get the iPhone because it's what I'm familiar with. I, so. I feel like you would have been an Android guy because you're a techie guy. I feel like techie guys are usually Android guys. That's it's probably true. yeah. That's probably true. But yeah, for me, I've just been get... using the iPhones almost since it came out. So. Got it. So, so you just got used to a piece of crap. I want to. I want to <laughs> hear Ricky's take on this and why he believes Android's better. Oh, Android, <laughs> dude. I I think Riff is actually the one that sold me an Android because I used to be nothing but iPhone because of my wife. But there's a lot of like you can do e almost everything that you can on the Android that you can do on Apple. You can. Here's the here's the <laughs> here's the thing. Apple cannot do half of the stuff that the Android can do. You cannot d download half the programs. And I'm just like, true. Yeah, what the heck? They charge you. The one thing I noticed, they charge you for everything. Everything like in the Play Store on an Android is like free. Yes, with ads. I tried to download a level the other day. They charge you for levels on Apple. What? I'm like, what? On Android, we used to download them all the time. Dude. We're working on projects. And I'm just like, I Wait, feel like. Isn't there a free? There's level? a free one. Tool? Yeah. Their There's tools are. Yeah, he says that, but like literally, you They're, can access. Did you use it? Did you try it? Yeah, I did until all the ads could, started popping. Like, you must pay four ninety nine to use it for twelve. You can seconds. literally access any of those apps on Apple. It's more user friendly on Apple. I'm telling you, like if you were to pick up an Apple and you pick up an Android, would you rather get a blue message or a green message? And I think oh they, my gosh, the green message is bothering oh. me so much. I think they're taking <laughs> they're it away. The worst. They're taking it away. I think they're taking it all away like this year. Oh, really? they're, they're taking it away. Just, so they yeah, could, yeah, but but who's still better than in that sense? Before Android, Android. No. Android. That's why they're trans. They're converting it to the Android version. So you guys are turning into Apple. That's nice to hear. So we're all. I've also never had any pro like. As far as I own a, you know, having a MacBook and Apple devices, like no glitches ever. Like, they all I feel talk like to they themselves. just never have any s problems at all. Versus owning like a desktop computer, Windows. I'm with you on that. Has always had issues. The last time I've even really used Android was with like tablets, where like you use a tablet, you have to, you, it's r running on an Android interface and it just so glitchy. Maybe the phones are better now. I'm I working don't know. on a 2023 uh, perfect tablet. Is it Samsung? Android? Yeah, it's perfect. You want to really? know, yeah. know what, what put, put me on the Same. tipping point? Was when I found out that they were <laughs> slowing down the my phone to, so I'd upgrade to the next but one. They and they were doing that. They said they admitted they were doing it. It pissed me off. But they're slowing that down. Been, so they'll, 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 yeah, they'll yeah, slow yeah, it down they do. automatically. But they, mine, don't, they don't do that anymore. Mine is from, how? when did you buy that phone I got? 2022? No, the one the one I have. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like a 2020 phone. It's it, it's literally still just as good. Like yeah, it, yeah. But I updates. expect that I have a a three year old phone. I I mean like the ones Not that get like Apple outdated. One, the ones that get outdated are from like 2013. Bro, aren't you on iPhone six or something? Dude, I'm on iPhone never. Okay, I'm just saying all all of them. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I just keep upgrading. I just keep etching a new number but see, on the back. I just one see it, I just see iPhone and I think money. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna spend another 600 bucks in two years. I've bought three MacBooks. In three years, all the ports were different in every single one. Yeah. I was like, my God, give me a port that I can use. Stop changing it on me. Because then you got to buy all new AC power and yep. all that stuff. They switch you out. And then, oh, I remember I plugged in a, a charger that I bought from Amazon for my Apple. And it's like, will not use this. Like, must be Apple. Probably. I would and still I like, go with Apple just because of the fact that I like its user-friendly base. Have you ever had an Android? Huh? I don't ever want to have one in my hands. So, so here, see, here's the thing. thing. You can't say it if I you was, haven't had both. I literally was that's, born that's with an iPod yeah. Touch to in my hand for some reason. Like, I'm like, I was good, dude. I actually wasn't that rich to have an iPod Touch. The but. funny thing is, I know the comments <laughs> are going to get heated about this one. Oh, yeah. which yeah. I love. Yeah. I love yeah. it. All right, we'll, we'll go on to the next one. We'll let the, the, the people leave that in the comments <laughs> if you want. Android! <laughs> no. All right, we're, all right. so the next one's going to be Doritos is the ultimate gamer snack food. Ooh, I like that. Oh. I'm going to say yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, I love Ben's <laughs> reaction. <laughs> Ben's like in a life crisis. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. all, all, right. Right, all right, you guys, why is it not? What's the better gamer food? Cheesy poofs, man. Cheese. Okay, Come Cartman. It's a cheesy poofs. Christopher? I don't know. <laughs> you have to have a better one if you say yeah. no. I'm just thinking if I'm gaming and I'm eating Doritos, it's just Doritos all over my controller. No, which come is on. Fun. But that's stereotype. That's that's just what we do. You're a kid. Think like 20 years ago. Chris okay, you're gaming right now. All the salad. Oh, you're 30 years no, ago. No, I, yeah. I eat popcorn now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, Grandpa. All right, how about this? Me, like, Ben, we're all coming over tonight to your house to game, and your wife goes, hey, I'm going to go pick up some snacks for the boys. What do you think they'll want? Oatmeal. <laughs> Prunes. Grapefruit. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, Doritos are good, but they are a mess. Takis are. are even more of a mess. Ooh, they're so I know good. all the kids nowadays because my son is always playing and eating Takis. And okay. Just gross. So, but Takis I don't know. A, I, I eat Takis popcorn. <laughs> Takis is so big right now with like kids. They're so My gross. kids too. They're always like talking. What is I eat one every time it's I have It's the new them. hot Cheetos. It's like a hot oh, rolled okay. Cheeto looking it's thing. Like a, it's just all. Candy. Trader Joe's makes good ones. I don't have they kids, do. So. <laughs> they make. The, have you seen the blue ones now? Yes. Yeah. They are just. We just saw they're them. really good. <laughs> so when they're eating them, I do eat them. I'm like, let me just try one of those. And it is just like a chemical gut <laughs> rot like thing that hits you. The blue ones are. Just, I'm like, this Dude, is so I, bad for you. I one time ate Cuphead cereal and they were blue. And. Never in my life have I let anyone see my poop until I ate that. I called my whole family and I'm like, I'm talking. Was it blue? Neon blue. It's so bad. Like almost shining light. Yeah. I was like, do they still no. make it? I want to try it. I don't know. Probably I, not. I have a story okay. when I was a kid. You know those Otter Pops? Like yeah, the yeah. different colored ones? I ate so many blue ones as a kid <laughs> that I literally had pooped blue. And I screamed to mom, mom, I pooped check an out Pop. my poop. <laughs> and she looked, she's like, oh my God, it's solid blue. <laughs> so crazy. Just came up like in a solid Otter Pop form. Yeah, too. she's like, well, why are you? You showing me this i was like seven years old dude because it's great bro. <laughs> this yeah. is disgusting i'm sorry everybody <laughs> no we love this what about clubbing no, I'm just <laughs> actually let's go on to that one going out clubbing is fun hardcore down. hardcore now all right so we got two disagrees Ooh, from Riff and Ricky. i'm so curious you clubbing is fun for you guys you know i'm a lot older now <laughs> yeah, exactly 40, the two I oldest don't, guys <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't do as much clubbing anymore but on occasion if i'm with some friends and maybe we do go out to the club i will have a good time wow back in the day when i was in my 20s and 30s a for lot sure, for man. all 20s? the time yeah clubbing was when it, pretty when pretty it's epic. your job to go find it's time to go find women and figure out dating and stuff like that yeah clubbing absolutely is great now i'm more into Samantha, i, I hope like you're a, having a good time watching ben talk about that <laughs> yeah, back in my 20s i'm saying <laughs> yeah we don't go clubbing now at all but sure, once in a while ben. maybe the when you do, <laughs> you have fun, I'm guessing, when you do. It was great. It was some of the best times of my life. Man, I have zero desire to club. Like, ze I've, I've, I, and I actually, when I used to play music, I played at a place called Sutra, which is like a club, and I remember getting booked there. We actually opened for 3-6 Mafia, and I remember being there, and I was like, man, I never wanted to go in a club. I hate clubs. And I remember walking in, and just, I hated everything. I hated every woman I saw. I almost felt bad for her. I'm like, no, 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 you're better than this. So what, so what, year, what time frame was that? Was time, was, I was probably... It was 2000s, like 2000s. Early, I was probably like 20? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so when I went, I mean, it was it was the 90s, late 90s. Oh, oh that's probably so different. That's, that's, that's probably a different time. Please, that was when, like, smoking please. indoors was was being done. Want to refill, Ben? <laughs> so you'd come back <laughs> from the club, and you just smell like an ashtray. One yeah, of my favorite like movies. The, the techno scene. And techno, <laughs> baby. What is love? Yeah. Techno was okay, big, see, that so sounds cooler. It was pretty cool. I, when I went in, it was like, I don't, whatever era it was, just everything turned me off about it. Like, I just didn't like any of it. I didn't like the, the people, the way they were talking. Also, I'm very uncomfortable around drunk people. Like, that's my thing. I get very, like, please go away. Like, I don't do well around drunk people. I don't drink. Not that I judge them, but I just do not handle it well. I'm always very annoyed very quickly. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You don't even know what I'm saying, so Fair get enough. out of here. But, How yeah. about you, Ricky? Why did you disagree? I just don't like clubs. I, I, I agree. I used to go to clubs. Dude, we used to go to, I used to go watch them at clubs. Like, like, like mm, 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 it's just, mm, mm, it's, it's not my scene, <laughs> especially if we don't, like, we don't drink. Like, I'm just like, I'm looking around like, man, these people, wow. Me and Ricky all through high school, though, like, we didn't, like, we grew up together. Like, we didn't go to parties. Like, what, we were, like, gamer nerds who happened to surf. We'd save up for games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then again, we also found our wives it's, in high school. It's so, so we, true. So we're like, what are we going to go, you know, yeah, we're with them. It's her. just a different lifestyle. Yeah. It's so yeah. funny true. seeing that you guys are, like, talking about clubs back in it the also, day. Okay, so also, <laughs> so, like, I'm from Chicagoland, so, like, oh. when, I, when I'm talking about clubbing, it was in, it was in, like, downtown Chicago, Chicago suburbs, and you were out on the East Coast, so it wasn't even here. Oh, maybe the California scene, when I, it just turned me off. I feel like there's more raves over here now. Uh, no, Curtis but I mean, like, a raver. yeah, Curtis yeah, so like, for like, I don't know, maybe like five or six years, and then you get tired of it, like, you finally just <laughs> grow out of it. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. I grew out of it. I Is think, it a lot to, like, keep up? It, 
No, it's, it's more just of like you lose your, interest. It's yeah. like, ah, oh, this is kind of stupid now. I, I hated leaving the club where I was like, okay, my ears are just gone. I, when you guys went, like, were you guys going for like girls? Like, you try to go, like, come Di back home with one or something? Uh, like, different, well, I mean, different stages of my time. Don't but. rat us out, Ricky. <laughs> no, come on, man. <laughs> no, that's just, that, that's just how I like. When that, you're single that, that, and that, you're that, looking and that's for how I see it, yeah. to meet somebody, that was a good way to do it. But I always, I always feel like when I was at a, like, like even at like. I guess at a club, whatever, like the people are like, dude, I feel like they're not, they're not in the state of mind. Like you shouldn't like, well, that's probably why I'm you know, like, guys. Oh, I think okay, so I, like I drank heavy back in the day. I really did. So like when you're with certain people and that was the vibe, like you would just go out and party with your boys or your friends or just like all that, like that there's different stages of life where you're going clubbing. You know what I mean? Like so for one me, of my, none for me. Sorry, go ahead. Finish. No, for me, it was like through my mid twenties, I was like single for a little bit. And then I was just like partying hard right after college. So, so one of my close friends from Chicagoland, he met his wife, um, at a club. And wow. I mean, they've been married for almost 20 years now. They have three kids and yeah. they live a very beautiful life. You know what I mean? It's like, it could happen. You yeah. can meet them. Yeah. I, I met my wife at a bar, not at a club. Different. It was totally a bar. Different. Yeah. But I feel like there's a there transition you where you just want to have a healthier lifestyle where that stuff just starts to fade out. Like where it's like, all right, I don't need it anymore. Like, me and Ricky me. were just born old, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's a little. It's just, also a period of time where you different look, scenarios. Yeah. look at the crowd and you're like, Okay, a little bit old. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, <laughs> you show up, I mean, you show I, up, and you're like, "Whoa, everybody you here grandpa? is yeah. twenty, yeah, and I'm in my forties. I, I think mean, I'm I, done." The, once I stop drinking, there's really no point for me to kind of go out mm. and do those things. You know yeah, I mean? true. Ricky and I never yeah. drink, so. and I still will have some drinks, and I'll go out with the wife, and we'll have some good. Sometimes you and your wife are lit, bro. We like to. We've always liked to party. That's cool. Yeah. We, and, we've always and you guys are doing it together. Yeah, always together. That yeah. that's a huge difference. Happy too. anniversary, Chris. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How many years? Yeah, it's Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. Who's, who's got the record in here? Ricky right here. Is. What are you? Thirty-seven. Eighteen going on nineteen. And I'm 17. married or yeah. married. married. And yeah. I'm yeah, just, we've been together seven. So I don't have the certificate, but I'm at over eighteen myself. I'm at. Wow. And you're not married. We're not married. Well, together. The, what, are you, what are you waiting? You guys are like oh, way older. Don't do it. <laughs> together, Ricky and I are almost at twenty years. Okay, well there you go. Because I married, been married to my wife seventeen years, going eighteen. He got married basically one year before me, but I dated my wife through high school. Okay. So we're probably at like twenty years together. <laughs> That's I'm curious oh, why. Oh, man, you, sorry, man. Do you ever plan on getting married? Get wrecked, no. kid. No, why? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's a long discussion. I mean, I have my views on it. I mean, do you really want to get into it? I'm curious. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, or, you don't or want Sam, to about but like, it's I don't very... want you to tell your to tell Sam not to watch this yeah, because you're yeah. like, dude, I don't want to say this on camera right now. Uh, I mean, you know, I feel like with marriage, there's a lot of expectations and... I may not necessarily agree with that. The other thing is like growing up, you know, like you look at your family and you see examples of what married life is. And mm. I think maybe I didn't really have. You a, didn't vibe yeah. with your yeah, examples. It's not like my family is no. like trash or something, but like. <laughs> Poor Ben. No, but I mean, like, like, nobody <laughs> watch my this podcast, please. <laughs> I know, right? I yeah, really, watches it hey, you make your like own that. choices, man. Like, we're not going to judge you, dude. No, I'm not yeah, judging I think at that's all. Awesome. I'm just. That you guys are that We're not judging, awesome. man, but do you want me to pray for you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. You guys have been together 18 years. Of course, yeah. you've yeah, been we, together we as long and as And Sam's awesome. Sam, yeah, is Sam is awesome. Sam is great. Awesome. Awesome. She's really cool. We, we don't really need it. Like, you know, it's I'm, not something either of you are looking for. Yeah, I mean, what works, I don't know. Works, it, it probably wouldn't work. I mean, I, I've thought about it, but like... Probably not. I hey, think my man. brother's in the same. My brother's been with his girl for a long time. They have kids and they're yeah. not married. So yeah, what works works. So, all right, we're gonna go on to our next one. It's gonna be unpopular, 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 unpopular opinions, and it's gonna be for like have like two very controversial opinions, kind of on pop culture, gaming. Like you guys, unpopular. Have I'll, I'll take your agree or disagrees. I want to hear some unpopular opinions. Now it can be gaming related. It doesn't have to be, but opinions that when people say they're gonna be like. Come on, dude. So how many do we get to say each? As many as you want. Yeah. Do okay. one and then move on right. and we'll go right. back. You ready? It's kind of like when we talked oh, ben, about... Ben, oh, Ben's ready. Yeah, I'm ben, ready. Shoot. All right. Ben, All right. shoot. Shh, shh, shh. Go, Ben. Okay. Cosplay is just for people with hot bods to show off their hot bod. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm going to say... Well, it's not an agree or disagree. <laughs> I'm like, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. All right, explain. No. Why, why, why is that... An oh, unpopular opinion. I feel right? like, you know, people, when you're fit... You know, you feel good, you look good, you want to show that off, and what better way to do it at a convention where you could just walk around with no shirt? Now, are you no, saying... I, I, I'm guile, you know? 
and you're like, oh, what's your favorite guy I'll be doing? And they're like, uh, oh, I don't know. I just wanted no, to walk no, around without I, my shirt on. I will say there are tons. We've met tons of cosplay people. We've met tons who know the deep lore, who are super into it. They yeah, love it. Not not everybody, by the way, you know, so don't flame me in the comments. No, there. they will. This is for <laughs> unpopular opinions. We want that. True. This <laughs> is this segment isn't made to make anybody feel good, right? Yeah, it's right. not if you're right or wrong. This isn't agree or disagree. So you feel like the majority. I, I feel like some people do it just to show right, ben, off. Well, you need to do it at SoCal Expo. Tickets available online. You need to <laughs> go around to an expo and quiz cosplayers with what they're wearing. Okay, to see if they actually know about what yeah. they're representing. You might be wrong. You might come back and be like, oh my gosh, they knew everything. And they might be geniuses, and then you're going to be like, oh crap, now I feel bad, and you'll have to make an apology video. Yep, and June eighth and 9th of twenty twenty four. All right. Yeah, June eighth, June eighth and 9th, twenty twenty four. SoCal Retro Gaming Expo dot com. Seriously, get your tickets if you don't. What are you doing? Yeah. Please, Christopher. Um, I think the some people are not going to like this. No, nope, that's probably, the point. That's, the, that's what we like. <laughs> probably Gabo, because I think Gabo is a big fan. You don't like Gabo? Oh. You don't like Gabo? Oh, 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 Gabo. Oh, 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 no, like Gabo. Gabo Lito. <laughs> Iron Maiden and like Judas Priest type story rock is good. I think it absolutely sucks. So wow. that is my opinion. I don't. I know like Gabo's a big Iron what Maiden. What does story kid. rock mean? That's what somebody told me that recently. They said, "Oh, that's story rock," and I was because I think they're always telling stories in that. I call it corny rock is what I call it because I think it's just oh, corny oh, rock awesome. music. But uh, that type of music, like Iron Maiden type, Judas Priest type rock music Never heard like story that. rock. Like somebody, somebody called it that because they are always telling so stories. So I think of Hallowed Be Thy Name. I'm waiting in a cold cell when the bells begin to chime. It's a great reflecting song. on my past like life. Like they're telling a story. It's telling the, so the, the, the guy comes. It's their time to think. Okay, so it's going. I never thought about that. Yeah, so my opinion is that story rock, that type of music, rock music. Do the it's Eagles terrible. fall under that or no? I feel no, like there's a I lot think of story Ozzy, rock though. Ozzy might know. maybe a little bit, maybe. Just because but Hotel not so California much. is my favorite song, so I was just but, wondering. That is a story though. Well, I recently went it. to Power Trip, the concert, and there was Iron Maiden was there, Guns N' Roses, did you Metallica. Like it? No, ACDC. I didn't like it at all. Iron Maiden. No, and I've always tried to listen to them, and I know there is like the most devote oh, huge. following. Like, are you an Iron Maiden fan? I do like them. Do you like Iron Maiden? I like Iron Maiden. I'm not a big Iron Maiden fan, but I do love their t shirts. They're I sick. love their t-shirts. Their t-shirts are amazing. They go hard. They do. Uh, not Chris, have you ever tried to pump like yourself Metallica. up? Does Ben look like he'd like Iron Maiden? <laughs> 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 Ben's listening to the Temptations back there. He's like, Temptations are awesome. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> now I'm curious. What do you listen to, Ben? I'm, yeah, I'm really I like curious. I right everything, honestly. What's your go-to? So my favorite is like techno, EDM. Oh! Like, oh where did that come see, from? Like, I, I don't, I'm not a big concert goer because I get anxious with like big crowds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like... I love listening to some EDM, like absolutely cranked up when I work out and stuff. Dang, wow. I didn't know I, that about I think him. I was in the car with you. You were, you were, yeah, I was with you. Yeah, that's you right. You had XM going on. and You were listening to it, right? Didn't you put, uh, it, on? You put on techno at some point? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. That's, and I was like, that's oh, that's, so I knew that. Was you he know, driving? Was he I dri think you were, weren't you I, driving? I drove, I, <laughs> it was when we dealt with the arcades. So you drove there. And then I drove your car back. Oh, that's right. You were driving yeah, yeah, yeah. my car when a, we were going. Yeah, that's which right. I did have EDM. And then I got in and I was like, oh, shit, you're listening to techno and EDM. That's right. I have a genuine like fear of like driving with Ben because he has <laughs> some serious road rage, dude. I do, man. He just gasses it. <laughs> Save that for the what pisses me off part. <laughs> not, not all the time, just sometimes. I actually have to have a channel that's like super chill. Oh, yeah. Just to help you me got deal Bob Ross like... playing in the back, dude. That's road interesting. Road. When I work out, I actually listen to like the opposite what people would think. I don't listen to That's loud. Funny. I listen to very chill, like 70s, like bread and like very like. While you're jogging? Song. Yeah, while I run every no day. Kidding. I always feel like because it's not a race, like I do it daily. So it's, I have to like be vibing. I can't like go, 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 burn myself out because I know I have to go another, you know, five or six miles. Would you say bread? <laughs> yeah. Never Bread's good. Bread, bread is bread? So, good. so good. Look up bread after. That. They're oh, they're man. beautiful. Riff, did you have an unpopular opinion? I have a bunch of them. Uh oh. Oh man, I have some that are gonna just. They're so interesting. <laughs> oh God, some are. I'm gonna go with one that isn't as triggering first. Um, I think the Star Wars prequels are better than the original three. Ooh. Let's okay. That's. Does anybody here agree with that? I I don't. No. no. Okay. No, not no. at all. Well, that's I, the point. I, no, I think, no opinion. I'm you, not it, big on. But if you all agree, then it wouldn't make sense. I would say group. episode one was dog water, and episode three was pretty dog water. I liked episode. Episode two. three was dog water. Episode three is like one of the best films in Star Wars. No, no. I would say that the. What did you like? Let me guess. Like the newest three. 
Whoa, what? Oh, no, the most gar- Actually, what's garb crazy, content I I've ever seen. Do n- I have not watched any of the new Star Wars? I you don't, you're not missing anything. I am so sold on like my saga that I didn't want to go back. No, that's not me saying I don't like the original three. I love the original three. That's just me saying that. I, I wouldn't think say that, that they're better than the original, just because that that starting from four, five, and six, and just the development well, of it just gives you that nostalgia and the storyline. No, I get it. Pretty true. Well, my nostalgia isn't for the original three because I wasn't alive. But no, but I mean, like, I mean, like as a kid, like those are the first four that I watched. Yes. Right. And then and then I went and watched one, two, and so three. So I in saw the order. originals, but then I remember. I've, I think I've told the story. I remember seeing all the prequels in the theaters as they came out, which I obviously didn't get to see the originals. I was born in '85. As they came out. So when I saw the prequels, I remember it was, you know, you're a kid. I don't remember how old I was, but I remember running out of the theater. And I use this for an example all the time of what films should do to you. As a kid, I ran out of the theater holding nothing (laughs) all around, (laughs) just like (laughs) slapping my dad, like, gotcha. And I was like, to me, that's like those memories as a kid that makes you feel like you loved a movie. And I will say, I never hated Jar Jar as a kid. It never affected me. And I remember watching the reviews, and then it's like I was swayed to think I hated Jar Jar because the whole world said they hated Jar Jar. Hmm. And then when I got older, I'm like, why did I go through a phase where I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I don't like Jar Jar. I actually, um, I, that's an unpopular opinion. I actually like Jar Jar, but I just thought the first four, five, and six were way better than the first three for me, just because you start with the puppet Yoda, and then you keep moving on, and it's, I, it's, I, it's better. I love them. Don't worry. I How about you, Chris? Three. You were going to say something about it, no? No, I like the first three as well. Yeah, I like the cinematography. I like the way it was so good, like filmed on the old film. And I like how they're always like all the transitions are always like swipes. Like yeah. they're it's not like traditional now where it's just cuts. It's just straight swipes, like like an effect. What but the I, prequels were yeah. good. They really were. I even like the new ones too. I like all of them. But something about the cinematography of the originals, think, you can't replicate that. I think that like, one, two, and three just felt like a big political thing to me. So sometimes I was just like standing like, the Republic is this and that. And it's like yeah. half of it was like that. So I was like. That was definitely the most boring part of yeah. them. Yeah, if they like, took that out. The politics part where you're like, oh. But what I got out of it was pod racing. And that was a great, that was a great game for that me. Was, I love that pod racing. You know, I, don't, I didn't even watch most of them. Really? Oh, yeah. Trekkie like, over here. Some of the old ones I watched, but like. <laughs> Are you a Trekkie? Uh, no. Okay, <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> unpopular, bro. You got any in your wheelhouse? Yeah, but I don't want to get. I don't want you guys to get mad at me, so I won't say anything. Uh, they all looked oh. at me all, when I said that, and no one gave me a smile. No, but let's hear it, Ricky. Do you have like your so own? So I, I think Green Day is trash. What? I hate Green Day. I do not like them. Why? I just never really. Even even back in the day, I was like, all right, this is cool. But Offspring, all the other bands, I love them. But Green Day, for some reason, they just always rub me the wrong way. No kidding. I, I I don't want to say I hate them. I I like I loved them back in the day when I was skateboarding. Sorry. It, was like, it was my no. That, that's what the point is. I loved them when I was a kid skateboarding. But and again, I never want to talk like bad on people, especially if I don't know people. But something about Billy Joel too always kind of rubbed me a little wrong. Not like pretentious <laughs> is not the word. I don't know. I think he thought he was smarter than he was. I me. Mean, I don't know if that's he how was to say pretentious. It, but, okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Pretentious. Yeah. There you go. I guess it is the word. Dang, but I, I like their the early stuff. stuff but I like them. I like Sorry, we're, just, we're just nailing yeah. bands. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll switch it up. I'll put it towards the game. I say like uh, po- Pokemon games should be more geared towards children and not balanced for adults. Explain. I'm curious about that. And the reason being is that Pokemon should be for kids. Let's be honest. Like it should not <laughs> be where it's like it's user friendly for a kid to use it like we did as back in the day. Yeah. Where we were just on a Game Boy and all you had to do was throw a Pokeball, catch it. And then you just basically battle. But now it's like you'd have to get like all these upgrades and everything that go with it. And it's just you keep adding more evolutions to it. It just doesn't make sense. I can't to me. speak because I, I never played Pokemon games. I, I would rather it just be geared for kids and just like let it be. But right now it just seems like they're overdoing it. They're overdoing way too it. much. Not that I don't love Pokemon because I do, but I'm just saying that it, it shouldn't be geared towards adults. Like the balancing of games for it. it. In what fashion do you think they're overdoing it? Because I don't play, so I don't know. I just think they're adding too many Pokemon at this point. uh, The weird thing is, like, you don't get to see half of the Pokemon more than once anymore. Like, you'll see random ones here, but how many are there now? Like, (laughs) thousand something, two thousand something? Yeah, there's something crazy. That's my next topic, man. Like, I actually think Pokemon is overrated, man. Oh, that's your unpopular. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, like... Go on. Okay, so I am born in 78, so, like... By the time the 90s came around, when Pokemon came around, I was in high school, so like I totally missed it, right? So I, I literally was in an Uber last Friday, and we were talking about Pokemon with the, uh, the me and the driver. And I was like, so what is Pokemon, dude? Like, what do you do? Just go around and you collect Pokemon with the thingy? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like, so every Pokemon game is you just doing that? And he's like, he's like, yeah, pretty much. I was like, that's dumb, man. <laughs> you battle too, though. So well, what, is, what is it? That's so it, it's pretty much an RPG. You're catching these Pokemon, building them up, and then you get to fight against each other. So it's it's pretty much a tournament. Your your whole story is like you're building up everything, and then you go against gym leaders, and then at the end you go to this sweet tournament and try to beat everybody. Yeah, it, sorry, I fell asleep there. No, I, <laughs> hey, hey, Mr. What? Tetris. Yo. <laughs> well, it's funny Yo. because Ricky on our earlier podcast we did, he said one of his most played games was the early Pokemons. I'm not a Pokemon guy either, and I have no desire to as well. But I'm not either. But I can appreciate it. I think. Yeah. And I have tried to go and play it. I'm. I'm. You know, I was born in '81, so um, almost as old and poppy as you. <laughs> I got. I got another. I got another unpopular one. It's Ooh. like there are no generational actors anymore. There's like during our time, right? So everybody that's the same famous, like as a Leo, a Tom, or anything, okay. those are the same people we're gonna see in movies. At our time, like there's nobody that's gonna be explain generational known. actor. What do you mean? I want to make like sure. somebody who like nowadays I can't name a single actor that's gonna be a lived new guy. on. Yeah, like that th that new mean. person who's gonna be that icon in acting. Like they're we're still watching like Adam Sandler movies and he keeps oh. being the same, right? Mm -hmm. Like they don't have generational actors where it's like those people are going to be. Yeah, but AI on. is going to change all that. Do you, have you guys followed the the Screen Actors Guild strike thing? Not really. Okay, so there was uh, a show on Netflix called Somebody is Horrible. Okay. Did you guys see that? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It's no. called... Um, okay, it's very interesting concept, okay? So, but, like, I'm not the authority on this, by the way, but from what I do understand is, like, let's say Chris here, he wants to be an actor or whatever. So what they're doing now is you would, like, go into a studio, from what I understand, and just, like, say a bunch of lines, and they'd, like, record everything oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. you said and all angles of your your body and your face and stuff like that and like okay thanks for coming in and then you're gone well so now you're gonna become an ai character future in like all kinds of movies and tv shows but like it's not you obviously doing the acting they're gonna just create it with ai but you just sign your life away for like your I don't think that I don't think that went through though. I think they well, did it not. I think my understanding of that was that the uh, like the agents representing those actors were like, you better not touch their the likeness. IP of the likeness. Now on the flip side of that though, if say I was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and of course mm -hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to die someday, if he could sign over <laughs> voluntarily his rights to be like, Jeez. hey, you know what, you can make movies from me with my likeness for the next five hundred years. That might be pretty epic. But he already had could, his career, though. But that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, saying as if, a generational like, 100 act. years from now, you could yeah. have Terminator 19 come That would out. be amazing. And Rocky 6. Rocky for Stallone. 8, 9, yes. 10. But Absolutely. I mean, that might be pretty awesome if you think about it. But now, that's where I'm saying, like, there's not, like, a generational actor where I'm like, that person's going to stay on movies and develop as, like, we see them. Right? There's been some younger guys, hasn't there? Like, the Can I name in, one? I can't really I don't know his name, but like the guy in Dune, um, the newest Dune that came out, the remake. I don't I know his name, but you. he's been in a bunch of movies. Zac Efron. <laughs> <laughs> Zac Efron. But I mean, like, we're going to keep, we keep seeing like the Zac same Efron. name, the same popular movies, keep using the same actors that were like 20, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, or we just don't know they're the next big. But I mean, That's like, I, I mean. even like in newer movies, I just haven't seen somebody who's really that spotlight. Like in the last two years, you mean? Like in focus, that they're going like, to grow up yeah. to be Most something. of the big names have been big names for a while. Yes. 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 I yeah. get that. I, I kind of disagree with that, though. I think every generation will have its actors. And movies are so big. I mean, they have to. I think they will. I don't know. Just haven't seen it yet. How about you guys in the comments? Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, let you them got, know. <laughs> you got an unpopular opinion? I got plenty. I'm scared of one of them. Go for I'm it. going with either breakfast is terrible or college is overrated. Which one should I go with? College is oh, overrated. Wow. College is overrated. Uh, there, that's all I got to say. <laughs> I don't want to get people I mean, too mad. Honestly, I've been to college and like I've went to like six different colleges, to be honest. I've transferred so many times. I honestly think the price of college is useless. Like They shouldn't be charging people the, the amounts that they charge for people to get an education. Like I don't. I'm not saying education. But needs you go to, be to free. community college though. You don't have to go to a high. I'm not end. saying that education needs to be free. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that kids that are leaving high school should not have to take out life loans to like screw I agree themselves. On that. And just because it's a certain college like Harvard, they're gonna charge six figures for somebody to go to a college for a paper. I wasn't going that deep at all. No, no, no. But, no, no I, I, I wasn't going. I was going as that's far why, as that's why it's overrated for me is because. I'm going to be stuck in student loan debt for a bit. Yeah. And I'm not asking it for it to be free, but yeah. 
I didn't gain much from it. I would say from my from my perspective, again, like you know, Ben disagreed right away, but it just like you said, it just comes down to what the life experience that you've had with it. And I saw a thing the other day of this girl like basically saying like I just went to school for five years for this job, and I applied, and they gave it to the job of the person who had experience and didn't go to college because she's like, how am I supposed to get the experience when my experience is going to college? But the guy who just went and worked after high school, he got the job because he had the experience for me personally. I've always got jobs and to where I am from experience from, sure. j I went out of high school and I jumped into the workforce straight. Yep. Yeah. And yep. so I, I, I partially disagree. I definitely like the way you did it. That's amazing. Right. But like, not everybody has the fortitude and the like the ability to do what you did, you know, to, to like the follow through, well, stick with something. I was going to say the reality of what I did is nothing. You pioneered what I, it. Though. What I did was just be willing to work. It wasn't. It wasn't that I was like gifted in something, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like a genius. It was just that I was like, no, I'll just I'm just willing to keep working. And I'm not trying to redefine like the education uh, system. I'm just trying to tell you like. This like you should be able to teach the skills for somebody just to get the job and then train them to do it. Yeah. They'll be better as time goes. And that's a, where you say experience comes from. Why are we teaching the principles and all this stuff unless you want to teach it later on? Right. That should be a different focus. Being a teacher to focus on something like that somebody can specialize in and explain it to other people. But other than that, I think it's useless. So what, one thing for me. Sorry, real quick. So college was like the starting point, and that's where I made a lot of contacts. Mm. You know, if I look at like the first job I got in my field, okay. it was because I met people at college, college that led me to to there. So like, I feel it was like a life experience thing also. Okay. Cause like, I didn't like come from a small town, I guess you could say like out in Iowa or something, you know, uh, but it, it, town, it was kind boy. of a small town. It was before the internet. So you really, yeah. you don't know beyond like five square miles. Uh, but like, I don't know, I, I feel college was a, a good experience, not just for like the educational part, but for like life experience. Yeah, 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 like if you ask me like what I learned from college, like statistics and a lot of these courses that I took, like I don't remember any of it. Right. It wasn't the education that I got experience. necessarily. It was the like you said, the life experience. And the two main things I took away from it was like socially. Now you're out. At, you're like when, I felt like coming out of high school, I was just like. Not a lot of social skills, no time management skills. And I think that employers, when they look at, oh, you went through college, means you learned to get up on your own without your parents, go to work, go to class, complete courses, discipline. Um, you, yeah. discipline. You had to do all that stuff. So if you're an employer, you're looking like, okay, you put in the effort to do that versus somebody coming straight out of high school. Um, not that they can't do that too. They certainly can. And you can learn that in a trade school or totally just yeah. working. I think like the biggest names that we have on the internet for financial are all uneducated. Yeah. Yeah. I think but like most of those people who are like the biggest company owners in the world, I think are all uncolleged. I think Mr. Beast did a thing on that too. Yeah. And a lot of the billionaires and, and stuff, a lot like even, you know, Zuckerberg and a lot yeah. of those guys, I think dropped out of college. So you don't need it by any I think means. that was more of my point is like, you don't have to go because you so many people are it. like, yeah, you don't need it. You don't. Yeah. That's why but it's, it's not bad at the same time. No, well, of you course. Know. Well, some can be. <laughs> but I wish, uh, Greg, you go first. Oh, sorry. Uh, and I was going to say, back then, there was probably different courses. Now there's the weird courses, like these guys trying to get like into these weird positions where it's like, Everyone's fighting for that same weird, like you know, like like jobs where it's not. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but there's definitely some career paths where people are like, "I'm taking this," and I'm like, "That's not going to help you with anything." Like, but awesome, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I would. I wish that colleges philosophy could find, degrees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say because there might be people hey, watching. Go. A popular opinion, but I would just hope that colleges somehow integrate people who want to be in the workforce doing that job earlier. That's yes. it. And, and you have, like. That's it for me. That's why I think college is overrated because you're not doing those things. We're going to make yeah. so many people mad today. But, <laughs> all right. 40% okay. of the people watching are sitting in college class right now with AirPods on. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, read, don't read. This is yeah. a bunch of idiots talking who have yeah. all different yeah, lives. Yeah. So. All right. All right. We're going to go on to our next one. It's going to be ranking console names. Ooh, okay. I, I thought of this one. I thought it'd be fun because I'm like, okay, we've all ranked consoles. That's like a thing we've seen a million times on the internet. But just the names, not like just the console the names. Console yeah. Itself. Like Ben. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the name. Rate the name Ben. All right, I'm just going to get started into it. Let me pull this up right here. So, and guy, I will say I did go with some funkier old consoles because I'm going to be honest, they had better names. So, as a lot of the newer stuff, I was like, these names are trash, but I still put them in here. But, awesome. uh, Ben, guess, guess, man, pick a number between one and 10. I'm going to say 10. 
A pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just guess. <laughs> Last one. I'm just gonna guess it was this one. Oh, oh that's remember, a great yeah. name. Your guess. Your name only, right, not my friend. Not what it actually is. Not what it is. Ben, go ahead and go first. You know what? This one is oh, awesome. Oh, Vectrex, by the way. We didn't say oh, for yeah. the audio <laughs> listeners. It's Vectrex. What's Vectrex. Up? Okay, so this one, like, what is a Vectrex? I don't know, but it sounds awesome, right? Yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say B. Okay, B. Yeah, in, in the middle, but a little more. Christopher? That's an awesome name. <laughs> I've always loved this one. Every time... I come across a Vectrex. I say the word Vectrex. I'm like, man, this is just such a good one. I feel it deserves an S. It Ooh, has to oh, be wow. Dang. Right yes. out the yes. S on this that's one. Uh, I'm going A. I think it's an, uh, it has a V in it and an X in it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's an a, a name right there. Whoever thought of that's a fantastic name. Ricky? I'm going to go with Chris. That's an S. Vectrex. Oh, wow. Plus it's it is a great nice. name. It is based on vector graphics. Oh, vector graphics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, the okay. X, yeah, it, it complements it well. Yeah. I'm What'd gonna, you give it? A? S. He's an S. S. I'm nice. going to give it Let's an A. Go, it definitely reminds me. What's nice is it does reflect like the mathing engineering part of it. So math I, a word? Yes. I, I, I mean, in calculus, <laughs> they call it vector this. Like it's a line, basically. But it's really cool that they made it that way. So that's I'm going to say A. That's a high A. Vector. So can I just point out, I think the S thing is totally stupid. Like, I know. I don't know where that came why from. Why doesn't it just go A, B, C, D, E, F? You know, like, why does it start with S? Don't question special. our method, It's so dude. dumb, Why guys. does knife Come start on. with a K? All right, bro? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I'm just going to pick a random one. Oh, garb. All right. Uh, go, oh. ahead. go ahead, Ricky. Why don't you start a Sony PlayStation? Remember, I, you're not doing the console. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like the name. I'm going to give it a... I'm gonna give it an A. The PlayStation, I like it. Huh? If you take out the Sony, I'm like PlayStation. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's just you a, play the station. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. I'm at an A also. I think the PlayStation is a is a sweet sounding. It's a. solid huh? A. Yeah. yeah, solid A. So A A A. Yeah. Chris? I think it's corny. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> and you I love always, the PlayStation. And you I love, love it, yeah. the system, but I don't know of all the names you can come up with. PlayStation. It sounds like. <laughs> I don't know, generic, corny. I'm giving it a D. I'm, Ooh, yeah. I'm jumping in. <laughs> Solid F. Yeah. Oh, when, I, when I was go. a kid, my, my neighbor, I've said it before, told me he got a PlayStation. I didn't know what it was. Went over his house and was like lit literally looking for a jungle gym. Like, let's play. And he's like, no, it's a video game. And I was like, what? Play PlayStation? It doesn't make any sense. Bro, you're this isn't a PlayStation. Brain. This is a sit That's station. So funny. No <laughs> way. You know? That's so you know, I brought it way Let's down. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Bring it up down. So F D A. That, that puts it like at a C. That puts it like at a C. All right, one of you guys pick the uh, a number up there. Pick four. any number. Four. 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 All right, all right, all right, here we go. That's gonna be the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Mm. Ooh, both of those. I mean, should we go with the American names only, or are we going with going yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, Let's go with Genesis. Yeah. Let's go American. Genesis. Yeah, Genesis. All right, all right. Christopher, why don't you start us off? I think that's pretty good, Genesis. Yeah. Uh, it gives me the sense of, like, man, this is new and exciting, and oh, I like it. So I'm going to give it a solid A. I think it's okay. a pretty good one. Benjamin? I'm going to say B. Like, okay. I definitely like it. I don't think it's as, as good as the other stuff. I'm, yeah, I'll say B. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Curtis. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say it's a solid F. Oh, I don't even what? know what? what Genesis means, dude. Uh, it's clearly, you're Genesis. in a church and have never read the Bible. No. Genesis old. is the beginning, my I've guy. Never beginning. Read, yeah. I've never read a Bible, so I don't know. So. <laughs> I need, Ricky, we need to talk about this later, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about this later. My in our next topic, biggest fear is my friends not going to heaven. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, all right, Ricky, you're up. Um. I'm going to see on this because Genesis just reminds me of a name. It just, I think I had a classmate named Genesis. So in my head, it's just, it seems like a girl to name to me. That's what it's Genesis seems. too, actually. One of my so I'm like, it's a girl's name. Genesis. I'm like, what? Yeah. Wow. So that's why I was like, oh, it doesn't really seem like a system. It seems like a person. I'm going to go B on Genesis. I, I like it. I do. I, I like what Chris is saying. It does have a little excitement with being, well, where does that put it, guys? I said A. I, I said F. A F Someone be B. smart here because I'm the dumbest it's one. Probably, it's probably a high C. Okay. Mm. You guys be in charge of telling me where it goes because I have to well, work it back you here. You and my it, A and F cancel each other actually, out. It, B, it should be like C, higher than the Sony, I think. You gave it, it an you gave it an A? No, no, no. No, B. B. Oh, so it is it's like, higher. I than think Sony. I think Sony should be above it because Sony had three A's. Okay, so a little below. Okay. Boom. There we go. Complex. All right, ready? I'm gonna grab one. <laughs> Complex. Atari twenty six hundred. Uh, Ben, the oldest oh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to so rate this high because I like the 2600, okay. but Atari 20, I don't know, guys. Just the name, I'm going to have to say C. Ooh, not yeah. a fan. Uh, I'll jump in. I'm going to go A. I love the name Atari. 
I think it's such a cool name. I, it doesn't like mean any back end meaning to me. I just like the way Atari sounds. I don't know what the crap 2600 means. I'm sure it has some deeper meaning, but I just like it. It's always been a name that's rolled off my tongue. Atari 2600A. I like it as well. I wish I knew what it means. I kind of like, I'm sure if you went on Wikipedia, there's a up. reason why. Only if we were running a room full of five gamers who run a gaming podcast. <laughs> but um, I like, for the same reasons, I love the way it sounds. The 2600, wish I knew what that was too. <laughs> I'll give it a, uh, a solid B. Okay. I think it's a B. Ricky? I had a looking. classmate named Atari. Well. I'm just <laughs> I was like, let's go. Now, um, it's it's a D for me because if I just heard it like Atari, I wouldn't think it's a console or anything like that. I was just like, Atari. Uh, it kind of sounds cool now. Atari. Oh. It sounds like Atreyu. It does. Yeah, like, there you go. It's like somebody's name. Artax. Uh, Artax. I, don't, I don't know where Atari came from, but the 2600 came from a part number. So That is the dumbest explanation <laughs> ever. <laughs> the I, wish, I wish you would have never looked that up, so I never knew that. The screws used in it were 2600 <laughs> screws. <laughs> What's your drinking? Uh, it's just going to be a C. I don't really think it's too crazy. Ben, you're in charge of telling me where this goes. Oh, Ooh. I am? I, was I wasn't B, paying attention all the D, way. B, D, C... Um. B A B D C A. So probably a, a low C, like right here by, yeah. by Mega Drive. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Next one. Let's go. Dreamcast. Oh. The Dreamcast. Let's go, Curtis first. The Dreamcast. I actually love this name. I think it's just something that like really feels like it'd be something awesome. So I would say an S. Okay, S. Yeah, wow. Nice. I like it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Ricky. Uh, it's probably it's probably a solid B for me. It, I do like the name. <laughs> <laughs> nice it. explanation. Nice. That's it. I Several do like the name. Dreamcast. It reminds me of like like a like a like Fishing a reel? like a device that you use to record something, like the dream. I don't know what it is. Um, okay. I don't even really. I don't really like the name Dreamcast. I feel like I would have liked it if you would have asked me. But I, when I think about it, I don't really like it. See, I it's, like it. It's mid for me. I I'm picturing like. Oh, I'm gonna play that and cast my dreams out. Like. You've never thought that before in your life. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking it now. I've never Don't act like you've thought that before. <laughs> but but saying it over and over, and I've always liked it. Uh, I'm gonna give it an A. I like it. Okay. I want to say A. I like it a lot. Oh, I think where'd that put it? I put it a C though. A A C A B C. All so right. Two A's. It's a low A. You were an S. No. You yeah, it was. I was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no. I so was. It's a, it's a, a. I was, it's I was a reading a. something. Uh oh. So I found out what Atari means. It means it's a Japanese word commonly used by players of the ancient Chinese strategy game Go. Wow. The Atari. It's pretty yeah. deep. That's go? awesome. What's the game Go? <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, it, it means tw <laughs> Go 2600. <laughs> That's what it means, man. Xbox F. Such a dumb name. I hate the name. And I love Xbox. I hate the name. Well, what well, should have been like square box. It's just that. it's just dumb. It's a, it's a box. box. You're calling Dream it box. box. Yeah, it's true. Uh, oh, I you're right on that one, aren't you? They're calling it a box. <laughs> I like look at it and I'm thinking the console, right? Two like, X's. It's cool. Yeah, but it's just, but, I don't know. But yeah, just Xbox. Yeah, I'm going to have to say D also. Ooh. I think he said F. Uh, oh, you did? I'm, I'll, I'll say D. Nice. It does suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's easy to say at least like xbox, xbox. we can we say it all the Simple. time xbox yeah. xbox xbox it's so easy to say just for that i'll give it a c um but it's pretty bad because it rolls off the top <laughs> yeah. okay. i just love that it does suck <laughs> it's an f because it, it just it doesn't make sense the name does not make sense. Xbox. I'm like, what the heck is an Xbox? Hey, Pretty if I didn't know what it was. I must be garbage. But I love this. Xbox. I just said it was a B, but like Hey, whatever you say, bro. My, my mind is a little simple. I would just be like, oh, cool. C, D, E, F. It's got to be a D or E. Yeah, it's at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, this is pure it's garbage. D. Solid D. Yeah, Solid it sucks D. that we're ranking names, but it does make sense. I mean, we can't. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to mix it up right here. In television. Hmm. Ben got excited. Let's see. I saw you go, ooh. I'm going to say B because it just sounds like something interesting and intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. Chris? I've always loved this one. Yeah. I uh, I can't give it like an S or an A. I'd probably give it a B as well. But every time I say it, I'm like, man, it, just, it sounds good in television. I'm going like, S. Woo. Wow. I think it's Dang. such a cool. I, I think of the time it came out. I think of back then, like it was big for computers to be smart. So like to put the word intelligent basically in there, just I feel like back then that's like, ooh, it's like cool. But like vision is just such a broad term too. Yeah, right. I just think it's a really cool name. It's I have two S's. That's one of them. 
Dang. I'll give it a B. I, it's great. It's not my favorite. <laughs> I'm a C on this. Like Intel being for information and vision. I'm just thinking about a TV back in the day, and the it's news. like nothing. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm going with C, dude, on that. Yeah. Terrible. Kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> Kids these days. That's a, if that's this how I interpret, I have to think about <laughs> worst analysis <laughs> ever. This is how I have to like literally think about <laughs> it. Like in my brain, I'm like, well, what is Where, where's that put it? Where's that put it? S. <laughs> what was that? It does for? suck. Uh, uh, too much information. Yeah, yeah. I think I was a too B much, or C. Too big of a word. Where did that put it, guys? I, it, I was it a put B, it like a B something. C, you were an S. C. C was the lowest. I think All it's right. got to be like an A. Yeah, it's got to be an A. Right there with Dreamcast. For crap. All right. um, <laughs> I think here we go. Atari Jaguar. Dang. Jaguar. Mm. I'm an S on this. I, I like it. I like the name that it has. Like, literally, now that huh. I know what Go means. Now, go I can't, Jaguar. <laughs> now I can't wait to put an F on it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, dude. I like it. It's go cool. ahead, Ricky. As a gaming console, it's only a C. It's, it sounds cool, but I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't it doesn't feel like a console, even though I love... I feel like I'm going to buy a new car. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> exactly. So true, I think man. that's sick. I go D. I don't like it. <laughs> I got to go D as well. It makes no sense. Why? I want to say B. Go the Jack only one Mark. named after an animal, right? There's no other animal. Um, Any other animal? Well, yeah, the Atari uh, Cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lynx. Oh, the Lynx. Lynx oh, the Lynx. Uh, All right, GameCube. Right. I'll start F. Yeah, that's dumb. It reminds me of Xbox. It's, it's the dumb. Xbox, right. <laughs> get, when you put the word game in there, it just sounds so no, cheesy to me. It reminds no. me of a mom, like, did you get your new game? Like, you know, just, just so cheesy. No, I really love this because it literally describes what it's going to be. I, literally a cube. I loved it. I'm an S on this. So what do you want to call the PlayStation 5? Freaking I literally, I like the PlayStation name too. It's literally, you walk up to it, you play. Game machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like they, the, the Shigeru Miyamoto <laughs> brought, Shigeru yeah. Miyamoto showed his son. He's like, game cube. It literally <laughs> reminds me of like Zoolander when they're like beating the Apple computer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God, you, Ricky? Ricky. It's a D. I love the console, but it's, it's really very basic. Chris? C. Okay. It's all right. You don't hate it's okay. it. Okay, I don't it's hate it. It's a D. It. Yeah, let's go. Let's garb. Get it down on the bottom. No, no. Don't, <laughs> hey, that S is up there, dude. You Great console. Just, you put S for GameCube? Yes. Oh, my. You said S? Yes. So that still doesn't bring it up. Like it's too many it S, C brings minus. it up pretty good. It brings it to a C, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, D plus. It's up there, dude. Magnavox Ooh. Odyssey 2. Oh. S. I'm going to say S. My first S. That's my other S. Yeah. I love it. This one is amazing. It's such a cool name. I mean, is this sci-fi? We're flying through space or what? God. I feel like it's the name of a spaceship. Yo, get dated, guys. <laughs> Jeez Louise. You collect paper. You should love all things old. No. Nobody will buy his new paper. I'm this, not going to look up and be like, that doesn't oh. even have to be old. It's just an odyssey. You know why? Space. We've gotten dumber with our generations. Everyone's like, <laughs> Game Box, <laughs> X Cube. We're like right. Magnavox, Odyssey, Vectrex. Yeah, like, that's right? cool. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, pretty it's pretty cool sweet. if you want to read more 2, letters. It 2,000 at the end. <laughs> no. All right. S, S, Chris, what about you? B on it. Okay. It's okay. I was hoping we get a full S. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not with 12-year-old in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a B for me. I'll give it a solid A. It's it's literally a Magnavox Odyssey. It's an adventure. It's literally what the name means. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Does it really? I think Odyssey, Odyssey is, like, is an adventure. Oh, yeah. an Odyssey. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. I said B, so. You said B? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to trash oh. it way worse. No, oh, yeah. no, He's no, like no. talking <laughs> crap out of I that. I just butt. don't think it's like S tier. It's just too many letters for Hey, me. does that put it <laughs> up like high? It's it, going to yeah, be high. It gets, yeah, it gets it pretty close. It's S, probably tied S. with Dreamcast. A? Yeah, that's going to be right there. No, it's like tied, I think, with Vectrex. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Turbo Graphics 16. Turbo Graphics. This is an S for me. Ooh, I just love it. Like graphics. you're taking yeah. graphics, turboing them. It sounds so turboing them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a like, term. It's turbo time. Turboing time. <laughs> I just loved, um, and I I love everything about it. It's probably my favorite one of all of them. I'm so. gonna say A. S. S. A. Chris, is this because you're wearing a shirt? Yeah. 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 <laughs> love it. A for me. It's an A. It's beautiful. Solid so A, man. This thing. Okay. Is cool. This is our highest ranked one. Yeah, yeah I liked that's it. An, that's an A plus plus. It's simple enough for me to figure out. So I would say it goes just right above the the yeah. Magnavox Odyssey. What do you guys think of the super graphics, though? I kind of really, I really I like, like the super graphics. graphics. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I think this is my last one. I think another oldie. Oh no, there's another one after this. Commodore sixty four. 
Commodore 64. I'm actually going to go A. I like it. It reminds me of like, first of all, Nintendo copied it. And then second of all, I'm going to go, Commodore reminds me of like I'm going to war. I don't know why. It's just is it just a bird. That's like Han like, What is the Commodore? No, I think it's it a Commodore. Bird. Like, like the, the ship guy, right? The band, the Commodores. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Curtis doesn't know any of these <laughs> older ones. Lionel Richie, bro. Look it up, Curtis. No way. Come on, producer. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? I'll look it up. I'm curious what <laughs> Com- yeah, look up Commodore. Yeah, <laughs> I, I keep thinking well, it's, it's the lead guy of a ship, isn't it? No. Well, maybe. that would be Commandeer. Is that what that means? Is like if you commandeer, camen, commandeer a ship? <laughs> Why is it? Don't know. Is that yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is a, a high-ranking high naval officer. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, I never knew that. Uh, I like it. I think it always sounded good. I'd give it a B. Okay. B for me. A B. I don't say C. I don't like it that much. A B C. I'm a B on it. it looks cool. A B C B. It looks I'm a cool. C. Okay. So it's probably like a B. Like As I'm wearing like a like a dev kit hat for yeah, computers. Hold, hold on. <laughs> All right, this last one I, I only put just this one. It's the Super Nintendo because it would have been pointless. But like Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Super. It's all kind of irrelevant at this point. So basically, the Super Nintendo itself. Mm, Curtis, I'm gonna say it's a D. I honestly don't what? really care for it. Mm, Ricky, my favorite console, but that name is. Compared to the other names, if I'm comparing it to the other, like even other names, Famicom is cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a C. I'm with you. It's kind of a C to me. Favorite console too. The name Nintendo's not even my. F- I don't really like that name Nintendo, but I love Nintendo. I think yeah, I got to go low on this because if you think about it, they actually didn't really come up with the name. Like mm-hmm. even the Nintendo. Yeah. It's the name. It's like if it we was were a playing the name of the back company. In the day. Oh, you yeah. want to go play a Sony? Like yeah. what? It's or you almost, want to go play a Microsoft? It's it's almost like, as lazy as, they went as Sony so PlayStation. So lazy, and then they doubled down on the laziness. <laughs> <laughs> so, I man, I almost have to give it an F. Like it's probably like the worst wow. one. Wow! <laughs> as much as I love the I wasn't console, going that hard, but okay. It's I'm gonna give it an F. I feel console, like it's the laziest. The ben? Yeah, for names, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say B. Like I love the super part, but I agree the other part is not so. Who are you? You were F. Yeah. Let's go play a Super Sony. Let me just cool. go get an entertainment <laughs> Boy, system. Yeah. Like that is yeah. Example. Let's play a Super you Microsoft. Know what I mean? like, like, it sounds dumb. Literally, it's just added worst. entertainment system at the end. That's like, well, yeah. Well, they did Pretty entertainment bad. system for a reason. I that know, was. but I just think that's just like adding extra words. Well, they had Nintendo. to. So Nintendo, when the video game crash happened, it, consoles weren't allowed to be sold in stores anymore. So they had to change the name from a console or a video to game. Make it seem like a computer. Just, it's like a VCR or something. It's an entertainment system. Mm. So that's why they did that. What? Yeah. Dude, what did they like, block your guys' that? alcohol too? Jesus. <laughs> so <laughs> number one ended up being Turbo Graphics. Uh bottom was Xbox. Now I will say, since we're on the topic of this, just before we go, um, I feel like Sony, if I have to think about it, was the laziest throughout the generations. Right? Think if Xbox yeah. stuck to Xbox but One, there's Xbox beauty two, Xbox. in the cleanness of it. I've thought about this. PlayStation One. But it's like Apple. At some point I don't want to be like, I have the iPhone one thousand four hundred and seventy two. Uh, Do I, you have I it? agree. <laughs> Shut up. There's simplicity. There, there's there's uh, a gracefulness about the PlayStation. All right. So how do we end this? You say which is the highest and which is the lowest. Highest was Turbo Graphics. Bottom was Xbox, followed by Super Nintendo. The top top three were Turbo Graphics, Vectrex, and the Magnavox Odyssey. All right. We're gonna go to our next topic. It's gonna be biggest fears that we have. Oh, in life, and this can be. Anything. Anything. So how how dark can you can go dark if you want? I mean, this can be very serious, or it can be just like silly fears. Benny boy, you want to start? (laughs) All right, sure. So I mean, like going dark. I'm thinking like my mom passing, my sister passing. You know, like to me, that's the ultimate, right? Like nothing is more. Is that a fear? It's it's not really something. I was gonna say, Ben, that's scary because that's that's a fear that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about fears. Like the that's what is your fear. biggest fear? No, I mean it is a fear. But it fear. is something no, that happens. No, but I'm happens. saying it sucks because it's going yes. to happen. Yeah, right. yeah. but that's I, a fear. I sure, yes. I certainly yes. realize yes. that. So you're saying like the fear of like death like, from other people. When is it going to happen? Mm. Right. You okay. Know, like, is it going to happen? You know, one year from now, six months from now. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Genuine so, fear. That was very dark. Yeah. Very yeah, quick. Yeah. But hey, started on. I mean, I'm just being honest. You got to be honest. I'm just gonna start with the generic one, man. Like I got a fear of spiders, man, and I'm gonna tell you right now why it started. Because when I was a kid, my mom put on a movie called Arachnophobia. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I yep. am so afraid of spiders now that like if I scream, I'm like, babe, 
there's a spider in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, please kill it. <laughs> like, I scream. Ricky has the opposite of that. Ricky will just, you tell Ricky you see a spider, and he's like, cool, and he'll just pick it up and play with I've it. You like spiders? I don't, I don't like them. I just, but you know. He has no I'll, problem Like, with if it's daddy long, he's going to pick him up. If I see, like, a black widow or something in my house, my kids freak out. All I do is I'm, I look at it. I was like, oh, cool. Wham! And I'm like. Yeah, I've had Problem I've called solved. Ricky over too to kill spiders, and he's done it, dude. I have friends. I, I have friends whose kids have like black widows. My brother, they will, they will no hold way. them. Your brother does it too. My brother has like three pet black widows. I'm like, oh, this is interesting, cool. I don't like spiders. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm yeah. afraid of them. I do not care. I stay clear. I will do anything to make sure that they're all dead. They don't bother don't me. Care. They don't bother me. Oh, they do. Like, they just all of a sudden they're in every single corner every once in a while. You just see them, like, up in the corner. I will find a way to kill them all. I think they say that the average human swallows a few spiders in their lifetime Three like, while you're sleeping. Yeah, but I, I've heard that's more of, like, a myth than anything. Look no, it I up. Was, I was laying on the couch the other day, and sure enough, spider just crawling along my arm. I was like, man, if I was sleeping, that thing would have gone right it, up. That's what I mean. Right into my mouth. It is a weird feeling, though. Like, you can... You you're just sitting there, and all of a sudden, you just feel like a little tink, and your body just has this reaction. Yep. And it, and then you look. It knows because it, it knows like that could be death. Yep. Oh, you know? dude, I it's it like, is get death. That thing dude, off anything me. that's crawling on me is death to me. It could be a, uh, an ant, and I'm like freaking out, dude. There's a little wussy boy. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> mosquitoes I, in my house. I do not care. <laughs> oh <man>. my gosh. <laughs> that's Curtis. Like, okay, that's another. <laughs> I had to wear on pants here. at Ricky's house. Curtis, Holy crap. Whenever we do whatnots every Thursday, it's outside. Well, they're outside. We're inside. Yeah. That sounds horrible. <laughs> We're running the show. We're running the show inside. They're outside packing. Can I come in? Yeah. You stay outside, it's Curtis. Shut so up. Cold. It's please, cold out please. here. Please, I need some porridge. <laughs> you stay outside. <laughs> um, no, I, Curtis every week like immediately starts freaking out about, and it could be like one mosquito's in him. He's like, dude. Oh, no. and he's like wearing pants with high socks, duct tape around it. I'm like, relax. No, bro. no, no. But you see the next day, like how bad I get bit, man. It is unreal how many times True. I get bit. There are a lot of mosquitoes. It is there. literally another legs, fear of mine. I put a fear of mosquitoes. I don't know what mosquitoes. Rick has got in the backyard, but <laughs> there's a lot of bull freaking frogs. mosquitoes there. Dude, Bull, yeah, there's apparently bullfrogs. <laughs> they're bends around and hear them croaking. Know you know, they, they never used to be that bad, but when I lived in South Dakota and played baseball, like they were migrating on I lived me. Lived in South dude. Dakota and played baseball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, you did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I played for a year there. And uh, during like the warmer months, they were in flocks, man, like thousands mm. of them. I almost considered playing with a mosquito net on my hat. That's how bad they were on me. Like, he's, that I, kid. he's that kid. But like when I got bit, sorry, Ricky, I've been hitting this all day. <laughs> but when I got bit, they would turn into like horse like knots on my arm. Wow. Oh, and yeah, so now you're having a reaction to them. My wife has that too. Yeah, so They're now, literally huge golf balls. Yeah, oh. and they itch like no other. And that's why I have that fear. Like I just don't want to get bit. Oh, okay. And now that I get bit by these, like I don't know if they're like a the ankle Asian biters. ankle biter, whatever you call it. Asian ankle biter. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's like a it's like a tiger <laughs> mosquito, whatever you want to call it. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Just they eat me up, man. I literally leave Ricky's house on each leg like five bites easily. And wow. it sucks. They don't bite you me. Do, yeah. He feels them like even the next Thursday, he'll be like, dude, look at my ankle. And it's he's like just, full of holes. You just I'm see like, oh, wet, welts like all the way through. <laughs> and it's like the ones that are rubbing that like destroy. I feel me. bad for the audience. I just looked. Ricky and I are wearing the exact same shorts and they're just hiked. They're the exact same shorts. <laughs> yeah. They're just hiked. I love when way. people call it out like, dude, there's getting pretty close are this time. Are you wearing around. pants? I keep pulling them down. Right, so anybody else have any general fears? over there. Yeah, I got one. Um, <laughs> what am I? I mean, see, it's not a fear because I can avoid it happening. But I wouldn't, for the, anything, go deep sea diving Ooh. for anything. Just, sharks? Uh, nope, nothing to do with sharks. Just, I hate the thought of being down there and something going wrong. And I have to like, oh. and you just, the fear of trying to swim up. I've always said it that, and I mean, skydiving is not as bad, but they're just two things that I just don't want to do for anything. And I'll, I do stupid stuff all the time. You know, as a kid, I used to backflip off roofs with a skateboard and stuff, and that didn't bother me. But for some reason... Deep sea diving, I it'd be my last. It'd be my torture. If you had to torture me and you kidnapped me in war, make me deep sea, deep sea dive. Now, see, I have my scuba dive license. Yeah. Oh. So I used to scuba dive all the time when I was younger. Deep like, sea, deep sea, yeah. Oh, wow. Like <laughs> like eighty feet down, like Dang. doing wrecks and stuff. It's absolutely amazing. It's like such a beautiful like I'm other sure that's world. Beautiful. But I don't do it anymore because of one of my biggest fears, which is sharks. Oh. Like, 
I am so deathly afraid of sharks. I've watched way too many nah. Shark yep. Week movies, yep. Jaws movies, Bethany Shark Hamilton, Week episodes, the girl lost her arm. Just so much shark stuff over the years. <laughs> like if I go out in the water now, I cannot stop. So you thinking don't surf about it. at all, do you? I tried and I could not get over it. You think Literally about it? Would be out there and going. This is it. Come on. <laughs> right now, it's happening. This is the end. <laughs> this is the end. I, I and remember. it's like paralyzing, and I go back to shore. Yeah, I yeah. remember watching something with Rob Deerdeck, and he goes and like dives with the sharks, but he would call um, poop. He would call that shark sugar. He's like, I'm about to leave out some shark sugar around here. <laughs> That's what I always remember back in the head of my. Like, wow, back in the head of mine. But, dude, I am stroking out. It's almost <laughs> like the end of this. Yeah, it's been a long road. <laughs> what about you, Ben? You got any? Oh wait, Ben and and but you, you haven't gone. Uh, one of mine would be besides, uh, sharks. besides sharks, like fear of like my business closing down. Mm. Like that has always been a fear of mine since I opened my shops. Is like, man, what if that was to go down? Because of course it's, uh, you could have the fear of losing your job or something yeah. like that, um, which I probably many people do have. But like a business going down is like I put so much of my life into it. What would I do next? Kind of thing. And I know what it takes to start up another business. So I've always had this fear of like trying to have the next thing ready just in case, you know? I know um, your next step, dude. It's selling your body. We're good. <laughs> I'll be your you first You got a customer, customer with Curtis, <laughs> bro. First, first customer, line, line me up. <laughs> <laughs> Mail gigolo. Just the subscription <laughs> with Curtis. Um, that is a genuine fear, though. Yeah, no, it's always. And I'm, many people, I'm sure, that own their own businesses feel that way. But that has been a legitimate, yeah. But I think that's also probably what drives you to be successful, right? Yeah, and always. It is probably one of the main driving forces mm. is like, man, I do not ever want to see this to fail. Now, along with that comes like, the fear of like, man, someday maybe people won't care about retro gaming. Ooh, then what do I do? You know, that's kind of the business. Um, I've tried to diversify that with other collectibles, and the collectibles market has seemed to be strong. Yeah. But there is always this fear of like, man, maybe somebody day nobody cares about retro games, nobody cares about um, comics and all this stuff. But so yeah, that's a genuine. That is fear. a real fear. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Ricky? Oh, I got too many fears. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ricky's. I was like, ah, I got, yeah, like, yeah, I got like, too many, but he doesn't say it. I can go, <laughs> I, I can go <laughs> be on podcast. I can go dark or I can go weird. Do uh, whatever. Whatever you want. Yeah. All right. So I guess one of my, like, my fear fear is to lose one of my kids. Oh, Because yeah. I've almost lost, like, I, I feel like I almost lost one, like, the other time. Like, you know, Maverick got hit by, like, my kid got, so... Just to put a, put it in a story. Give them a story. Er, yeah. Earlier this year, I, w I was just walking with my mom and my pops. We were walking, dude, at, in a park. We were just walking. And Maverick, my little one, he's just like three feet away from he's me. Tiny. He's tiny. He's tiny. He's a little guy. He's he's four. So we're walking and out of nowhere, not dude, I didn't even hear it coming. It was like a silent, the silent thing. Like even it was my, an e-bike. It was yeah. an e-bike. Oh, this e-bike just rammed my kid at Full speed, just saw him fly on the ground, and getting dragged by the e-bike. At the same time, I don't think I've ever been that that scared or pissed off at the same time. Oh yeah. So, but like, all the thing I had to go through, like, uh, so what? The, the dude, I thought he was dead. I, I ran, I ran to him. He wasn't moving. It was like he was like he was just like this, kind of knocked out. He was. I and my wife out. was with your wife. Yeah. When, when the, it happened, when she got the happened. call, and it was a girls' night, and all of a sudden she's like, Maverick just got hit by a bike, and I'm like. But, oh, like a bicycle? She's like, no, by an e-bike at full speed. I was like, oh, crap. But, dude, yeah. it scared the heck out of me because he wasn't moving for a, like, mm -hmm. a good 30 seconds. And then, so, the thing that scared me first was that, like, he died. Like, I was like, that's it. My kid just got knocked. The second thing, after I saw him open his eyes, he couldn't move mm -hmm. for, for a good 30 seconds. So, I thought he was paralyzed. I was like, dear God. I'm like, what the heck's going on right now? Like, like I, I don't know. It, it's a range of emotions because then you have that, that rush of fearing that you lost your son. And then... Now that he's awake, you are grateful he's awake, but now you're trying to figure out what is the after effect of all that, right? Yeah, and there's still That's like tough. there's still things like he had he had brain, he had brain bleeding after we did all this stuff. Like he's fine now. He's he's, he's yeah, dude, yeah. this kid's like resilient. Goofy Maverick. Yeah. Goofy Maverick. But yeah. at the time, scared the heck out of me. I, I don't think I've like I think we were all super worried for you oh, yeah. when that happened. I was like, dude. Oh, and it was a little Lord. girl that was on the e bike. It was a, right? a, a little twelve year old girl. So it's not it wasn't even like a guy you could like beat up. That's the thing, dude, dude with e bikes, and they actually have buckle down to regulations we talked with nurses yeah. i know i did you did they said that's like one of the number one reasons people aren't in the hospitals now is yeah. for e-bikes because you're giving 12 year olds motorcycles you're giving free with, range to they kids they could do like 30 miles yeah. an hour and the difference is when you see people riding motorcycles what are they doing they're riding their motorcycle half yeah. these kids i see have their feet up and they're on their phone 
And I'm like, dude, and they are just plowing. And they go on the opposite side of traffic. You don't see them coming. These things get up to They don't have to take any, like, license test to fit. Dude, I mean, we might sound like old heads, but, like, this is, like, real, man. You're basically giving a motorized vehicle to a kid too early. Yeah. That's what I I think laws are starting to come out. They are, and I'm glad they're coming out. Yeah, Yeah, I'm glad. Where we live, it's very prominent. Like, kids everywhere. Everyone has one. My brother left his. He had two at our house. And my son started riding him, and it was like a week before I took it away. And I'm like, you can be a normal kid and ride a regular bike. And now, to be honest, he rides his bike everywhere, and I love it. I see him on a regular bike, pushing, paying attention, doing his thing, and I'm like, that's awesome. But like, again, I don't like you. I don't want to sound like an old guy, but again, I literally I remember talking to a lady at my daughter's soccer, and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to you? And she got hit by an e-bike, and she was just walking full speed, black eye, everything. She yeah, said that the nurse told her that everybody's just coming in. A kid by her house died on an e-bike. Yeah. Just this, flying this. into the middle of a traffic thing, just got hit. Boom. Because, I mean, sadly, again, it, not, you know, obviously it's precautions and proper, but there is no, again, with, without sounding like an old guy, they're just, get, you're basically getting a, a motorcycle and just go. Right. Good luck, you know. They're not wearing their helmets and this, not, you know. But losing a child yeah. would be one of the oh. worst things ever. Yeah. I've Dude. always thought about, like, what it would be like if I lost one of my, you know, like my son. Um, it would be horrible. Tear you oh, apart. Yeah. Tear you yeah. apart. I, I, yeah. And you, whenever you watch like documentaries or shows of p- parents that have lost kids, yep. it's like they say it never goes away. You don't recover, is what they no, say. No, yeah. every single day, I think you'd be thinking about that. So you would. It'd we, be absolutely horrible. We know a dude uh, that went to our school. He like died, and like sh- the next year, like I don't know how his dad died. Like it was like of sadness. I don't even know what it was. Like I think I remember hearing about that. Yeah. It's something happened in his body like it just shut down. Like he didn't really want to live anymore. I was like, "Dear god." Oh, cuz his, his kid yeah, died. It, it was so that was died? his the only child they had and I was wow. just like, "Dude." And that's normally like kind of like what is normal when a life partner like who's older and like isn't in the best health once they lose that person. They pretty much follow. You start a couple to years. That's true. Yeah. You, you follow a couple years later, but yeah, I think losing a kid is probably like the worst thing that could happen to you in the world, right? Because yeah. it's not like again, losing a parent is still horrible, but it's like you know they're older, they live like a kid. It's like no, they're innocent. You know, it's like there's like, but why they're innocent? Yeah, you should never see your kids pass. Yeah. Yes. Does, yeah. that, does anybody it's, have any other oh, fears? I got a weird. Can I, can I, can can I do you, a weird one? Yeah, I just wants to, to go. Ricky wants to break out of there it. We go, there we <laughs> this go. is a this is a weird one. So in my twenties, I was scared of going to this one. Uh, to the club? This town, no. <laughs> the, the, this town that I grew up on, I used to go all the summers to this town in Mexico called Mexicali. That's where I like, dude, legit, I grew up there all the time. I had, so I had a little crew over there. It, it was like six of us, six, five or six of us, I can't remember now. But I, when, after like, after high school, odd, odd things started happening to my little crew, my little crew. Like, I, mm. I never wanted to go back to this place because of it. So oddly enough, those five of us, only two of us are still alive because it seems like they all died like a weird death. Wait, so I'm like, life? He's yeah, real life. Here. So what was the place you were going to? Mexicali. I thought we were going weird, Ricky. This is dark, yeah, bro. This is more He's dark. like, don't worry, this, this one's dark. just a little yeah. weird. Everybody oh, died <laughs> for real. <laughs> so <laughs> like the plot of a horror so movie. Yeah. They all died in this in in the city. Like it was. It's like a weird, like almost like uh, after watching Final Destination, I didn't want to go back to this place because I'm like, dude, it's gonna happen to me. I'm next. So yeah. I think the only ones left are me and my cousin. That's it from our whole like crew. Two of the guys died uh, drinking and driving, like randomly flew off a canal and hit a power pole and died when I was like probably like 15. Wow. The, very dark. The, dude. The, next dude, the next dude died like a year later from cancer. Jesus. A couple years later... The, my other friend Francisco, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he uh, he got. He, they said he got beat to death, and they don't know who had happened. He was just found in the. He moved away, and then when he came back, he got. Ricky, you're off the podcast, bro. <laughs> I don't want to be by you I anymore. I think that was weird. I, I thought you were like, so hey, man. the fear of Mexico. Going back over there, like, dude. I'm like, I'm the fear of Mexico. Only, only that That's time. That was like, I'm sorry, dude. dude that, that was just weird. It was weird. I love that we're all trying to be like, it's like a super serious conversation, I but know. So, dude, sometimes it's, sorry, it's real. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I, I don't know. I just, that I was mean, more dark than weird. Na, to na, me. Now but, I'm fine. Yeah. But I was like, dude, I, for like my twenties, I didn't want to go back. My mom was like, oh, you want to come? I'm like, heck no. I'm like, I'm not going to that town. Look at where I have my, all my friends. <laughs> wow. All right. That's a wild one. Yeah. Ben, so, you got another? I got another one. All right. So I live in a condo, right? Yep. 
And we have the Mexicali. Uh, no, <laughs> you got a fear of the HOA. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a whole other topic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got these sprinklers heads in our condo that we have to have, and they're everywhere. Like in the closet where we hang our jacket, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like right there. So like you gotta be careful not to freaking touch it. Oh, okay. So like if that thing goes off. If that little piece of glass breaks, like because you bumped it on accident, water's just gonna flood in. And I talked to my HOA. I'm like, "What happens if this happens? Like, who do I call?" Ghost and they're like, <laughs> "And they're like, yes. oh, well, you gotta call the fire department or something like that." So in the meantime, there's gonna be water just like rushing in my condo I love for like an hour <laughs> and destroying probably my collection I love that and we my went games. From Ricky's kids dying to Ricky's actual friends dying to Ben being like sprinklers, dude. What if they, <laughs> I was trying to like. What if they go off? <laughs> I was trying to lighten them I up. I know that's fine. We love that. But uh, yeah, we're going to end it on that one. We're going to say that all the full full audio episodes will be linked in the description. And guys, if you guys haven't got your tickets yet for SoCal Gaming Expo, yes. June 8th yes. and June 9th. SoCal Retro Gaming Expo.com. Thank you guys for all the support. And I just want to say, Ben, thank you for being here, man. Thanks, Thanks guys. I appreciate it.